Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures. Since last time, I did just a little bit of grinding to get the ba ba ba. Like a few shards of Frosh's horn. I didn't even mean to go for it that hard. He just kept appearing. But that means that we can upgrade our Darling Champion Tunic and try to do things. A hands away. Give it power. You know, it'd be, it would have been hilarious if I came here like, oh yeah, I got the slightly hard to get Shard of Farash's horn and I had like no silent princesses. Mm. Mm. <sighs> and hello to dear chat, how be the people today? Ah. Ah. The one thing that <laughs> keeps getting me when it comes to the starts of streams, I'm like, oh yeah, I have my timer set to let me know when to do stream, and then I can set things up, and then inevitably setting things up just don't go right. Like my capture card. My capture card's a little weirdo, where I can have it fully set up, but then it'll just be like, actually, no, I'm not gonna transmit the video through USB to be captured. It is the one downside of having a, like, USB cable driven capture card rather than one that's actually plugged into my computer. But really, I think from what I've seen, capture cards have just kind of like all have their own little quirks and annoyances. Then again, I've also seen people like play through their capture card because they have the like plug directly into your PCIe slot computer ones. And then they like conk out and like, aha, your sight is gone. Which I guess is at least something because if your like sight goes away, you know that your capture card is borking. So you can go to try and fix it. Whereas with this one, since I have like pass through, basically HDMI cable from my console goes into my capture card. Then an HDMI cable comes out of my capture card that I can plug into my monitor or TV and then I capture it with a USB cable that also comes out of the capture card. So, so a lot of the time, if something's wrong on my like capture part, I might not know because I can be like, oh yeah, it's working good on me playing because the pass through is going fine, but the actual capture is going wonky. But now we need to decide like, uh, what to do today, because like I said earlier, we might at least try to do these three, and then maybe hit these two areas to finish up all the towers. I do want to potentially, like, find the... Because I think we have the saddle. I want the bridle for the horse so I can summon my horse on a whim. Then we can, like, test it out, like, put it in a safe place. Like, although I need to, th like, think of what, like, yeah, just keep my horse maybe in Kakariko Village. So it'll just sit there, and then I can just summon at will. Because I don't know if I, like, leave my horse in a place and then just go somewhere if it could just be killed. That'd be kind of mean. But the main problem with that is the quest diddly D is a little vague under a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. Not sure about that. Then again... Hmm. I'm trying to think, because... More than likely, the cherry chi... Well, unless it's, like, up here somewhere, maybe. Because I don't think that the cherry blossom tree is, like, in this area. I don't think so. Might be down here, and could be up here. But I don't know. Elsewise, I don't know how many other mountains there are. There's no tree on that one. Like, I don't know. I think this is, was more desolate. So I don't know if there's, like, any trees. Then again, who knows? Mount Rome. Satori Mountain. 
I don't know, that there's like a mini lake up here and there's a lake here. Maybe there's a cherry blossom tree up here. But I guess since we're kind of in this area, we might come to Hatino Tower and maybe see if we can find the tower up here just to activate it. Get this side of the map squared away. <laughs> Surviving the cold. I don't think I've gone to that many places where I needed to protect myself from the cold too much. Usually it's just like, ah, I'm at the top of a tower. Surprise, it's cold. Throw on my warm doublet. And the rain followed me. Well, then again, I guess I didn't teleport that far away from Kakariko Village. That makes me wonder how the weather system works. If it actually has, like, a weather system so that there's weather technically going on all around the place. So even if you teleport away, the weather is still technically going on. Let's see. Well, that is completely the wrong direction. I guess we just can't see the tower over here. And plus, since it's raining, it's probably on the other side of that mountain. I forget. Do I have you marked like as a... There is a diddly D over here. We'll delete and then add that. Hmm. I guess since there's a big old mountain in the way, what I'll first do is I think I'll come over here and then climb this mountain because I just realized there's a heartbroken heart lake. I want to check that out, see if I can scout out the area. If not, I'll teleport to these until I get the right one that's like on top. I forget which one's on top. Like I genuinely forget. I think you're underneath, and then you might be on top, and then you're also underneath. <laughs> I find it just amusing. They're like, we're going to put three shrines right on top of each other. And then technically we have fourth all the way over here. But let's go to the Heartbreak Lake, I guess. See if the rain follows us. Considering that we're, like, just on the Hatino Tower, and Hatino Town is just a little bit away. It'll probably follow us. Oh, and also, since I didn't want it to bog down just like, ah, just go through the motions... I also went and traded out some of my hearts for stamina containers. So we have a decent amount of stamina. I basically just did it the way I wanted to do it before the game went, Psych, you idiot! You need 13 heart containers! So we should have 10 hearts and 3 stamina vessels. That is what we should have. And now we need to climb up this way and... Hope the rain doesn't ruin my day. Let's see. We go backwards or forwards? Might as well see if we can do this Korok catching. Because I think the rain is giving up because it changed a little bit. But it's still sprinkling, but I think... Ah, good. It is done messing up my day. Right when I needed to start climbing. Which is a first. Usually the rain comes in when I need to start climbing. So for the rain to go away right after I start climbing is kind of a miracle. It's the first time that's happened. You know, hearing the song just slightly in the distance makes me interesting interested. What is the... Is there, like, sound options in here? Doesn't seem like there's sound options in this area. Maybe it's on the title screen. Because I figured if I could up the music for what little there is, that would be neat. I also now wonder how many unique uh, like, uh, Korok mac uh, masks there are. Because I know that the Koroks, like, have, like, little masks, but I wonder if they're ever reused. And if so, how much? But idle thoughts away. After we try to do at least a few, like, uh, towers, one thing that we will definitely do, or at least check out, 
is we'll go and see... Well, that could be its own stream, maybe. I don't know. Because, yeah, we'll do the towers. And then... Like, try to find the Rito village. And then maybe next stream, we'll do the... Or at least check out the Korok trials. You here to meet your soulmate, too? Hmm. Huh? You don't... Hey, don't be shy. I'm here for the same reason, after all. Why else would anyone come here all the way out here? To be honest, though, I've been waiting for a pretty long time, and, mm. well, nobody's shown up yet. I thought this was the Sweetheart's Pond everyone is talking about, but maybe I'm in the wrong place? I mean, considering that it's a broken heart, my dude, I don't think that's the right place. I think this might be a... Like a false one. This is the lake lady. Like, wh whenever a guy approaches a lady, he's like, Hey, babe, I think we might be soulmates. And then when they just want to get that guy off their back, they're like, Nah, uh, we'll meet up at Sweetheart Lake to see if it's confirmed. And then they send them here to hell. Huh, I wonder what's up there. It's just a mountain. But it could be anything. Guess we'll make our way in to this area. Very mountainous region. And we might, like, try to get to the top of the mountain, potentially. Seems to be clouds up there. Which could mean anything. But now with my... I think almost two wheels of stamina, I should be able to explore a lot more. And from other places, be able to just spam my climbability a lot more than before. Which will be just a grand old boon. An ox? I don't think I've ran into an ox yet. You're probably gonna be as hard to kill as a bear, but since it's been the first time that I've seen you, well, a water buffalo. I wonder what the difference between a water buffalo and an ox is. Ah, oh, there's a Korok thing. Damn you. I was going to maybe kill that thing for meat. <laughs> I d did I really get that close enough to actually spawn them? Or did they know I was thinking things and like, ha <laughs> idiot, you fool. Oh. Hinox. I guess I could try and kill you. Since we're in town. I forget. Did I take a picture of a Hinox? Have not. Then we shall. Might as well. <laughs> That's a horrible picture, but it'll do. A horrible picture for a horrible beastie. The next thing I'll do is I shall do that so I can turn this into danger. Or like, hey, big old monster that'll respawn on Blood Moon, so if you want to kill it, come do it. But let's see. What do I want to... I guess we'll use the Royal Claymore against you. We don't have many arrows, though, so steal Lazalbo. We'll come down, see if we can sneak attack him. I don't think he has any shin guards. Oh, he's actually part of a shrine quest? That's a shrine thingy on his hand, uh, necklace. Darn, he kicked me. Oh, youngest kin, you're basically almost dead. Somehow that didn't hit me. I thought I was crunched. I thought I was captained. Spiked Boko Bat. A fortified pumpkin, I've yet to run into one of those. <laughs> A wild berry. Okay, but now the real question is, what the fuck do I do with you? Like, 
do I drag it all the way back to Kakariko Village? That probably wouldn't work. I don't even know what this goes to. I just saw this guy and I'm like, I'm gonna kill him. And apparently it's part of a shrine. Maybe he's up this tower, maybe he's up this mountain. I don't know where this goes. I just wanted to kill a hen ox. Like, considering that there are, like, buck hobs over here. Yeah, this is the one downside. Like, and I don't even feel like I can, like, just drop it. Because it'll probably despawn. If I get too far away. So I genuinely don't know what to really do with this thing. But yeah, considering that there's this guy... And that guy. This is the one downside. No. Well, actually, I don't have that many arrows, so no. I wish I could just stick it in, like, my backpack. Carry it with me. Like, unless I missed a very obvious shrine placement. Doohickey. I genuinely don't know where to put this thing. But now I feel obligated to try and find it. I've been had. I'm just going to go on a fun old adventure. Hmm, hey, because I'm trying to... And it's the same thing I don't have. I don't have a map of this area. And I can't run because then I'll drop the ball. So I'm just trying to think. Because, like, since this is part of, like, a, a Henoch had it. I feel like it has to be, like, nearby the place that you would place it. So maybe just over the ridge, up the mountain? There's many different ways. I feel like I'll go over the ridge since it seems a little bit easier. And if I tried to go up the mountain trying to get down while carrying this would potentially be pain. led to a greater lake and another Hinox. It's probably like a greater Ken. Hmm. Considering that there are two Hinox right next to each other. See, put the big old claymore back on. Ball no. Don't try and betray me. Let's see, because it's probably just a... No, blue Hinox. They're different beasts. Uh, trying to take a picture out at me. And this one has Shin Gods. And another ball! Okay, so this has to be part of a quest. Middlekin, that means there's a third one. Guess I'll just change the Master Sword. Okay, so yeah, there's three of these frickin' things. But I have no idea where to put him. Dragon bow, or like a dragon bone, and a lot of trout. 
Let's see. Is there anything here I'd like to sacrifice for the the, the Boko Club? Well, it's 24. <laughs> Goodbye, Feathered Edge, I guess. All right. Since there's like apparently multiple of these things, there was the youngest kin. That's the middle kin. There's probably going to be an eldest kin around about somewhere. I guess I'll keep them here. But that makes me wonder, maybe it is up there? Or maybe that's where the eldest kin is. But at the same time, I'm thinking since there are like two ways to get up the mountain. That's where the diddly D would be to place... The shrine orbs, because you could access it from both of the... That's what it is! Which means I need to find the eldest kin, too. Okay, now don't despawn on me. Stay there. Considering that the game can, like, keep track... Oh, I guess maybe the other one re went back down to where the youngest kin was. I killed them. Well, actually, one second, because there's a treasure chest I forgot to investigate. But first things, double first. Had to get rid of the bees. They're probably going to attack me. Because the bees are bastards. Yeah, okay, at least that's kind of nice. Technically, it did despawn, but it's more like respawned, despawned. It went back to where it was. But now I just uh, need to wonder. More than likely, the eldest kin will probably be up the mountain but backwards, like that way. Because over here are all the shrine dealies. Go ahead and place you down. Oh, and it just vanished. I guess that solves one issue of having to, like, keep track of them. The ancient orbs guarded by the giants of Mount Tehran lead to the shrine. Yep, like I thought. Let me guess, respawn down here? If not, I'll be very sad. Good. You're a very kind game. Now we just need to find the last one, which again, probably is up the mountain. Because... These two are at the base of the two able to go up. I just see flashy, flashy, shiny, shiny. I was like, eh, I wonder what that is. Doesn't matter. We've got a shrine to do. But as I was saying, it's kind of uh, smart of the game. Interject Rhino Beetle. One of that. Nah. If Beetle asks for it, I'm going to have to say no. Because I only have one. And I keep failing to capture the others. But yeah, as I was saying, it is like a kind of smart idea since these are physics objects and they don't want to keep track of them. They just uh, have them disappear after activating. Which fixes that issue. And like I said, over here is probably where the other one is. Did somebody build, like, is this on top? of a tower, or did somebody build a thing around that? When I activated the the towers, did like, uh, all those shrine doohickeys also show up? Yep. That'd be one reason why some shrines just kind of never really showed up. So there are, like, some of them. For a moment, I thought those waving flags was the Hinnok already a out and active. What are you act like happy over? I shall take it for my own. A thunderstorm rod. Hmm. Well, at least I know where that's gonna be. 
And I guess since you're gonna be a different Henox, I shall take a picture of you too. Already sit down, go back over to this. I almost fired. That would have been very bad. I wouldn't be surprised if... Oh, and it, this guy's surrounded by minions, too. Okay. Don't you dare. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I guess there's other skeletons up there in proximity, so it just goes, oh, I can get head elsewhere, which is probably what it's doing. I guess I technically hit it while I was maneuvering. That's a little annoying. Ever so slightly. Especially since I can't silent strike this guy. <laughs> You're f it's kind of funny. I guess it kind of makes sense. He's the biggest and the baddest. The leader of the bunch. So he gets minions to look out for him. Bodyguards. They don't bodyguard the lowly guys. They bodyguard the big guy. The biggest body. I'm gonna have to snoop around finding all the sleeping boys. I guess it's a, like a blessing and a curse for coming here at night. All these guys are asleep, just like he is. And there's also that guy out there and that guy there. And that guy there. Lots of these dudes. Luckily, they're far enough away that I can assassinate them kind of one by one. Not the skeletons, though. Skeletons do not care. I'll go after this guy. How dare you? That is illegal. Dang it, game. It's not what I wanted at all. I want those pacoblin parts. Didn't want to climb a tree. I wanted to run away from a bat. A one-eyed demon bat from hell. Go ahead and get this head out of play. Blast you. Get that head out of play. And that leaves like this guy, but he's kind of far away, so really it just leaves the skeletons around him. Alright, I guess we'll try and kill him. Also, this is a very good sword. It's lasted for three Hinoxes now. Oh! I guess that makes sense. You are a big bad man. You are the eldest kin. But still, the kind of shenanigans that you're getting up, it does so much damage. What if I just threw bombs at you? Hmm, 
Not much, but it does to get rid of your buddy. Where is your head? Yeah, don't want your friends getting near at their heads back. Dang it. Oh, you're gonna throw a big thing. Either throw it or try and whack me with it. As I try and take pot shots at your head. Get out of here. His get up animation did kill me, but luckily, Mifa has my back. Oh, I wonder if I can take pictures of these. Ah, I guess I can. Interesting. But I can take a picture of a knight's halberd. And a roasted bird thigh. And Hinox's guts. That guy just picked up just like an entire piece of tree from the nether realm. Well, we're gonna come up here because there was a treasure chest that he was, like, sleeping on. The birds are already happy for the Hinox's death. I guess I have to actually pull it out. What's inside? Gold rupee, nice. What? It's the morning day. Be gone, Satan. Well, I guess technically it's not morning morning because it is just like... Uh, where's your head? Let go of that head. You shouldn't be able to recoup that fast. It's illegal. And of course the tree saved you. Now please die. Like I swear, the knights do not feel all that knighty. It's like... It feels very bright. Maybe it's my brightness levels. But I could swear that it's just like, there's the sun coming up over the ridge. Oh, fuck you. I want it to live. A orb. You roly-poly, not roly-eye man. I wonder if this would, like, the progress of the shrine would be saved if a blood moon came by and respawned the other Hinoxes. Come yeah, on. Get in the hole. We can push him. I can push giant rocks, but not little ones. Such is life. And I can only assume that doing all of that is like the question for this. So that like going in You'll just give me the reward. Although, like, how did... Like, this come to be? Was there a, an original different... Like, shrine quest? But then those three Henoks Came by, stole the orbs... And so they wrote down... The three giant monsters hold the orbs? Or did this monk collude with the powers of evil to test the test the hero granted i guess the hinox would be kind of dumb and just be like ooh shiny and take but then how old are those hinox well, i mean i guess they are technically revived eternally by the blood moon does that mean that there were blood moons like 10,000 years ago Well, I guess I can always just leave that hit there, so if I ever run low on weapons, I can come back and grab it. I'm probably just overthinking the... Like, what's the word? I, I forget the word, but like, over-complicating and overthinking what goes into these... <laughs> they're like, oh, it would be cool if you had to fight, like, a uh, escalating difficulty of Hinox to get into this, their shrine. 
But if you look at it from, like, an in-universe point of view, how did that monk, or, like, whoever was constructing this shrine... And, or, like, I don't know. Because I guess that isn't, like, built on this kind of stuff, so it probably was made after. Where it was just like, ah, oh, yes, the three orbs to raise the shrine. And then after those Hinox stole the orbs, that was made, but... That still makes me wonder, like... Originally, what was the shrine quest that was usurped by the forces of evil? And when? You dare stand on rock? Die. You dare form beyond my eyes? Die. I think the thing that I own the most of is choo-choo jelly now. And I guess I technically now have a decent, like, staging point to then go to that shrine and then the shrine that's out in the the swirl of the land. And I guess this is the... Alright, I'm interested. Why is there two statues here? Could be nothing. I have to give uh, an apple to the young one. The young one is starving. If I give an apple to the young one, will the old one get angry? How dare you feed the young one? He was being punished. Yeah, so more than likely, over that way is where the tower is. But I want to climb this here mountain. It might be a thing at top. And plus, I can mark off this mountain as being the mountain that holds the cherry blossom tree that is keeping the bridle from me. <laughs> so up we go. I do wonder if this is like... Before Breath of the Wild, what Legend of Zelda game had like the most... I'm trying to think of the word. Well, that's unique. That should mean something. Hmm. That's also unique. But, like, before Breath of the Wild, I wonder what Zelda game had, like, the most amount of outfits that Link wore in that game. Because, obviously, this one is a bit unfair. Because... Obviously, this Link has the most drip out of all of them. I'm gonna guess that that is a shrine and we need to, like, I don't know, blow it up somehow. I guess I'll mark it and be like, hey, this is a point of interest. Yeah, I had to slightly get around them because they were hitting the tree. Wouldn't have mattered that much because I'd be like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> But still, my brain demands I do it properly. I was hoping, <laughs> and you only gave me one. I wonder if you would have died to a bomb. I need more, more arrows. The question is, where do I get arrows? I guess I could just teleport around to all the stables. Forcing Beetle to appear before me and buy up all his stock. And speaking of that, I'm gonna go down to Lesser Bow. As I no longer need the Major Bow damage. As we make our way up this giant mountain as we make our way up all the way as we make our way up this giant mountain shut up 
and I too, I climbing a mountain. Climbing a mountain all the way. Which will be the perfect staging place to find the other tower. I thought it would be over here, but I guess it's more to the... Huh. Where the fuck is it? Almighty mountain. All this way for a Korok. But luckily, the reward comes after. Oh, there you are! Or no, that's a monster hat. I thought. Oh, the there you are! <laughs> Plus, it allows me to kind of get a bird's eye view of this area and be like, what the fuck is going on over here? Alright, there seems to be a shrine. What the fuck? Are those electric durians? Oh no, that was just the gloss. <laughs> that was the grass texture. Just having a fit. <laughs> that was the grass texture. Having a fit. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I was just seeing like something kind of yellowy going crazy. And I'm like, oh my god, what's that? Grass texture. Alright, I think I kind of understand what I need to do here. I need to present you into there. Which means, uh. Uh, let's try and get a bit closer. And do some magnets. Did I do it wrong? I'm guessing so. I just figured, oh, I could magnet it. That's what I needed to do. Or did I need to? I don't know. Well, well, there's a... There's a thing here. I guess... Wrong magnetic thing. I guess. Alright. I think other plan is I need to s put this in where the rock is, maybe? Don't fall in. I don't know if I could get you back. There's a lot of treasure in this goddamn lake. Alright, okay. I overthought it. Yeah. Wrong mag magnetic thing. And there's two chests over there. Well, I guess I'll cryo my way over. Alright, let's see. What treasure are you? Honestly, worth. Now be gone. Wrong thing entirely. We gotta cry our way over. Present to me your riches. Present to me your bitches. Worth. I think that's like, I don't know, 10 arrows worth of rupees. All right. I think the plan is we need to cryos that rock out and replace it with this magnetic rock. Presumably. I think... Oh, wait. Treasure chests came up. I have honestly no idea. I'm just... I just saw, like, oh, <laughs> things that are similar. Obviously, this means something. Apparently not. I do not know. The world is weird. The weird world of wackiness. Oh, damn it. I'll have to get that one before it flows away. Definitely worth... I, uh, you don't float away from me, young man. You are mine. Not as worth. <laughs> All the chests, very worth that one. Yeah. 
I don't think so. I guess we're over here. Is there any uh, things in the water? I know there was like another one somewhere. Ah, I think I see. Oh, it was a thought I saw. I thought I saw a pretty dead. I thought I saw a treasure chest, but apparently not. But obviously, this is something, but what is it? Up and away, Billy! More treasure chests that were lost to the ages. Let's see, what do you have? I'd say worth, more arrows are always good, no matter the type. More arrows, good, no matter the type. <laughs> Worthwhile my time here. And here I thought I had to, like, replace one rock with the other. Fool I was. I guess I'll just cry on my way across the waterfall. This is really magical ice. It doesn't even move with the water. Now I'm imagining there being a playthrough where a, a person just intentionally goes, I'm not going to use, like, the Zora armor to go up waterfalls. I'm going to use Cryonis. But I don't think that would work for all of them because you'd still need to do it for, like, the... the damn elephant. Oh, you are way the fuck far away. Foolish me. Ah, uh, big hardy mushroom, or um, big hardy mushroom, yeah. Big hardy indeed. What are you? Mighty Thistle! Ah, so if we want to do major damage, that's what we use. How dare you. Uh, you've activated my, uh, anger. Yeah, you... Oh. Shit. All right, then. Uh, combat time. We have a bit more arrows for this combat time. What do we use? Uh, guess we'll uh, use you. All right, shit, and I'm winning. <laughs> oh, that almost got me. Darn. Didn't do much damage, though. Darn, I was trying to get on top of him. What? What even hit me? I think his hitbox hit me before he actually hit me. Well, we have elementals. Oh! Guess he needs to actually be, like, down and out. All right, that camera was terrible. Lurry rush time! Ow. Darn. I didn't even mean to fight you. Got one hit off. New record. I'm not even sure if that's doing damage. Not a flurry rush. Oh, that's not good. I uh, go behind you. I shall use Lionel. Lionel on Lionel violence. I genuinely don't know how to get that to work properly. Well, we have him in a loop. Get smacked. Die. And a Lionel Spear. 
We trade uh, one Lionel thing for other Lionel thing. Let's see. We need you in case... Well, let me see. Can we actually take it off? We can. Okay. Then we shall drop you. That answers my question from, like, last stream where I was going like, but what if you don't have any non-metal thing? Uh, the answer is uh, you can just unequip them normally. You idiot. All because an ox rat- well, I guess water buffalo. A water buffalo ratted me out. It tried to run me over, and I'm like, ah, oh, fine, you want to throw down, and then it ran to its hasbondo. It couldn't fight me on its own, so it ran away. I've already fought three of you today, not fighting you. But I will mark you for, uh, posterity. So if I ever want to come and fight you later, I can. Danger. I wonder if it's bad to use up all of the... the, like, pins. Because it specifically says I can only use a hundred pins. And I'm already, like, a quarter of the way there. Time to sneak down on these foes. Pull what you are. Hearty durian. I was. I think. I thought. I. I think. I made a joke about durians earlier. <coughs> and now we climb the tower. Uh, before those uh, keys come, kill me. We climb, we climb, we climb all the way. <laughs> climb time. Forest, oh forest. Give me your power knowledge. Booyah! Ba da 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 da. I do find it kind of funny that this one is like right. Like, usually the towers tend to be like out in the open. This one's kind of like nestled up in a forest, well, I guess jungle, up against a mountain. Booyah! And now I can look over the map and see if there's anything interesting. Let's see. Riola Springs. I think I was up there. Courage Step. Courage Step. Hmm. Tuft Mountain. Oh, that seems like an interesting place, potentially. Mount Dunzil. Tonoko Island. That doesn't seem to be uh, too, too much. There's like a little like lake area. Oh, we, uh, yeah, we went up all the way there, so we don't have to worry. So yeah, this area is cleared out. I think what I might do is... Uh, ah, plan. I'll teleport here, go up this mountain, because interesting mountain, I'm in a mountain climbing mood. We'll use that as a scouting point to look for this tower for this area. And then move about. And that's the plan. Fly away. And then maybe, maybe if I'm feeling it, I'll 
look for other, what are they, the EX treasure hunter thingy things? Like for the helmet of twilight. All right. This mountain, because mountain climbing mood, and plus it'll give me just a look arounding. And look, you know, look arounding is important. Uh, if uh, so long as I don't get shot by a guardian. Honestly, surprised it hasn't started locking onto me yet. Ah, it wasn't a guardian. It was skellies. Ah, just a tree. I was like, what's the look of that? It looks like a weird thing hunched over. It's just a, just a diddly dee. Well, since we're passing by... Oh. You see nothing. Well, that's just bullshit. Grenade! I don't think it should be legal for the stalls to spawn themselves when I'm already next to an enemy. Ruins all my plans, so I bomb you to death. I bomb you to death. I bomb you to death. Oh, I thought he was going to sound the alarm. Sneaky-doo. Sneaky-doo-da. Sneaky-dee-dee. Guess I might as well finish this off and they'll be like, ah, 30 minutes later you can use me again. Or maybe it lo running low on energy isn't that bad. The Great Flame Blade. The Great Flame Bardy. You know, I just realized, I wonder if I was supposed to take a picture of the Master Sword. And if that, like, uh, locks me out of, like, getting 100% Compendium. Luckily, I don't really mind too much about the Compendium, but still. It would be kind of funny and sad in a way. I locked myself out. If you're just playing the game normally, then you fool! You have made a fool of yourself. Now, what's that up there? Is that one of the towers I yet to do? Ah, it's one of the towers I yet to do. It seems pretty close to another tower. Could just be perspective. yep -a -doo. Who needs boats when you can glide? Hmm. I also think I realized, uh... One thing I need to do... Is... Oh, I wonder... So it tells me which ones I've already done, and it's kind of nice that they force you to take these first pictures so that you distinctly know, ah, these are the ones that are still out there. I wish that they, like, had that description of the from the artist guy so I could remember, but I think that I've, I kind of forget. Like, that one wouldn't be bad. I think that's actually from behind Hyrule Castle. Maybe. I should, I should go for a hunt for some of these memories. Because it does seem like we're only missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, that one's at a shrine, so we're bound to run into it eventually. 
That one's at a Gerudo like oasis, so that one will be easy. That one is actually pretty darn near the the hidden forest, so like if we just come over here, it's probably like somewhere over here is where it might be. Just kind of that ridge, presumably. And this one is obviously nearby the Rito place because their guardian beast is flying around. Obvious Gerudo Oasis. That one's obviously at Hyrule Castle. This one, I think, was said to be like, um... Was it up in Akala? I forget. I could have sworn, like, I have the vibe that I got it from down here. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it... I know. I'll have to go around and see if he respawns and be like, oh, yeah. But anyway, up there. So one thing I definitely need to do is memory hunting. Other thing I need to do is, like, EX chest hunting. Otherwise, it's just go take down those divine beasts. So we can rule the world. I wonder if there are any actual constellations in the skybox. Granted, I'm not really one for picking out stars. I like constellations. Don't have the eye for it. Constellations are neat, but I can never really see them. Then again, I've never... Oh. Oh. Um, memory place. I think. <laughs> I was just talking about you, Wonder. What the fuck? Castle, is that you? No, you're not my horse. Then who is are you? What the? F um, I guess I've never taken a picture. Just horse. Okay, random horse here. Peter, the horse is here. He wants his drug money. What? Uh, what? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, the horse is gone! Peter, the, the horse is gone! What? <laughs> what? Okay, I just, I walked up. Were you meant to be on the horse and then you failed to spawn? Is that what it was? Hey! Even from this park, if you take a look, you can see Hyrule Castle. See it? Mm. However, I can't really enjoy the view. I, I can't explain it, but I just feel uneasy when I look at it. I mean, it is a place of evil. Okay, so this guy, he was meant to spawn, but his horse spawned alone. And when I turned away, the horse disappeared because he finally spawned. Well, uh, memory time. <laughs> well, that was just a series of events, I gotta say. Here I was, just like, oh, I have no idea where this one is. And uh, not to mention, was horribly wrong as to my the vibe of the location. I thought it was far, far more down on the map. She has a fancy horse. Time to soothe your mind. That's the only way it will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. This little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, Confirmation. I wasn't sure if Link I should outfit talks. him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. That's rude. But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? At least she isn't depressed. She isn't sad. It's 
See that mountain? No, the bloom is too high. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Lanera's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. That's Only odd. The wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. If you're young, you're stupid. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. And we already saw that Do memory, I think. I Wait, no, actually, we haven't been to Leneiru. We haven't been to the that the one. That the next moment will change everything. I'm fairly certain. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. On your birthday? Your father is just like not even going to give you a special day. Just work, work, work until you drop. <laughs> I've yet to, like, because I know we went to one of the the springs. I think that was the spring of power, I want to say? Maybe? But hey, five more memories to go, I guess. Now let's see, uh, up the mountain we go still. <laughs> But that was still a very odd, like, I guess, glitch? Mitha's grace is ready. Like, the horse spawned in. The guy hadn't spawned in yet. So it, the horse was just standing there. They didn't want to just spawn the guy on top. What's that? I just did one of the bastards. Well, we're gonna go up this here, dabba dee -da, this mountain. And then we're gonna see about trying to find, like, that one area's tower. As well as just in general, looking for any mountains that might have a big old tree at the top. Try and find that, that's, uh, what's it? Bridal. Because we have the saddle. Oh. I don't want to waste my arrows on this. That's like, oh, if I miss one, all my arrows are gone. I'll go blow up these rocks instead. I mean, I'm sure I have, like, a ton of elemental arrows. Greg Googly Moogly, I just had an even more cursed thought of a challenge run for uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What if it was like an ancient arrow only run? But like uh, in the way that you, they could only use ancient arrows as arrows. Oh, that's not good at all. And, uh, haha, <laughs> no. There are no more heads! All your heads are gone! Be gone, Satan. And I can't climb. This is a very violent storm. It doesn't want me to get up the mountain. It's a sign from God and this loser here. What the fuck? <laughs> the lightning hit at the exact same time. I hit the same. It's always the same one. I'm like, is that the one I'm looking at? And it's just like, no, we, Link, we are not going to the Gerudo Desert. We are not thimboying it up just yet. Even if you would rock that shit. Right now, 
We are climbing a mountain. Oh boy, Topaz. It's like our second one. Well, there's a shrine nearby. That's ominous. Rusty sword that's about to explode. At least I thought I did. I was hurt. Knew it. So the shrine is kind of this way. Another blow upable spot. Open sets. My f the fucking. I guess it makes sense. It's it's trying to run away from the electricity. My 50 rupees are trying to escape me, but they won't. Up we go. You know, I just realized. How, like, I'm trying to think of the words here. Like, how big would the, like, Hylian economy be if their normal, like, currency is gems? Cut gems. No, I just realized something. I could have probably used bomb arrows on that Korok training, like, bow thing. I thought it would be an amusing way to, like, cheese that specific kind of challenge. It probably doesn't work. It needs to be, like, direct hit with arrows. But I think that would be amusing if that was a way of doing it. The Korok appears. Link precisely hits these targets. Link just pulls out a bomb. Fuck you, Korok. Explosions! Oh, hey, hardy durians. Durian, durian. Lots of durians to be made heartfully, and I just, I just flew. Durian, 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 lots of durian. And the rain's going away. At least I think it is. So says the weather calculator. See you later, weather calculator. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. Durian. Whenever I hear Durian now, I always think of that old Doug Doug video where he's like lightly comparing Overwatch and uh, the Team Fortress 2. And the Team Fortress, or the Overwatch people are like, Hey, I'd really like to do this. And uh, the response is just, here's a durian. <laughs> Loads of birds. Oh! So like... One single diddly D actually uh, turns out to be the diddly D. If it's anything like the. Well, that, I think that answers my question. Half buried treasure chest. I'm gonna guess. Oh, there's even light physics on the cherry blossoms! Behold you! Yep. I open you midair. You are mine to command. A mysterious bridle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equipping a horse of this will maximize their abilities, increasing the number of spurs associated with them. Now I just need to put that on my horse. I guess try and find the... I don't really care about you, Korok, right now. Ah! Here you are. 
we'll do you and then uh yeah it's probably not it it's probably somewhere among the mountains of hell and i don't have any like uh anti-cold aside from my doublet so that's gonna be bad We just charge in, just using health increasers and food to power through. Somebody like Arito stumbles across is like, dear heavens. Why chain noises? Oh, because chains. So I'm guessing that this is here to be like, Get them moving gravity wise. And then I guess. Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Please don't freak out. <laughs> Just like, slightly afraid that it would uh, utterly uh, go insane. Interesting that my weight hitting them actually affects it. Oh, god damn it. I need to use my arrows. Oh, yeah, I unequipped my bow. For a moment, I'm just like, oh, did they take away my arrows? Let's see, I guess. Let's see what happens if we use a, a nice arrow. Oh, it worked. Uh... Um, ancient Sheikah technology. <laughs> Those ice arrows cut through the ropes so cleanly, the thing didn't even know it got, th the ropes were cut. Yeah, this does feel like this would be a, a Korok hell zone. So if I touch it, I go flying. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gotta just do it slowly. Just gotta do it carefully. This is probably not the way you're meant to do this. It's probably meant to be like a Newton's Cradle or something. But I'm not gonna do fuck. <laughs> Newton's Cradle, no, I say. Yeah, don't hit me, please. <laughs> you almost did. Huh, so, huh. The Koroks are analogous to the Lynels, I guess. I'll swap out a small bow for you. Let's see. Mine. Yeah, it's basically exactly the same as a... Lynel bow. Oh, and there's also a treasure. Oh, yeah, that was a other thing. What are you if I hit you? I mean, I could just do that myself. I don't need you. Okay. All right, it's not moving. That's good. You're not moving either. That's good. 
I mean, I could, but then that required more maneuvering with these. Oh, it was a push. It was a push, not a pull. I thought it was going to be a pull. And I pulled so hard it pushed anyway. And luckily, if I die again, Mifa will be able to pick me up. <laughs> if I freeze out in the wild, Mifa will come down and be like, Link, you stupid himbo, get back up and stop freezing to death. Hello, birds. You should have feared! Now let's see... Oh, there's a... A shrine there. We'll go ahead and... Change that to shrinage. Let's see, what are you? Do we know about you? We know about you. Probably should have figured that, but I didn't want to presume. I'm just trying to think, because, like, uh... Oh, there are big old fucking, uh... What are they called? Canyons? They're big old canyons. I'm trying to think, because, like... I guess, uh... Like, looking in this direction... Let me just see if my own eyes... It's you again! Won't fool me again! I just had to confirm my suspicions. But yeah, this is probably like the Rito lands. So, uh... I'm gonna climb all the way up and just to be able to try and see... ...some things. And plus, who knows, maybe there's gonna be a Korok up here to be like... Yeah! You found me! Up we climb. Up we climb. Up we climb indeed. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, eggs. I am a thief. Yeah, so there's a perpetual lightning storm over there, or either, well, either that or we got unlucky and there's, like, multiple. So maybe this isn't even Rito land. Hmm. But still, it would give me a decent, uh, overview of things to try and climb that. Guess let's get, uh, closer to the ground. See if we can survive all the way to the giant mushroom trees. No, I don't think I will. Uh, maybe we will. Because it seems... Ah, that's probably more... Rito. Oh, I think that's even a... That could be... Oh, there's also a house here? Cass! The boy! I wasn't expecting to find you out here! Uh, oh, excuse me. Was that a bit of rough on the ears? No, it was perfectly good. Ooh. Oh, you've done well to climb all the way up here. Haha, <laughs> fool you are. I flew. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it, my boy! Oh. Excellent. Without further ado... When the moon bleeds and the fiends are reborn, the monks will invite you as they have sworn. 
But first you must stand on the pedestal bare With nothing between you and the night air uh. Hmm, when the moon bleeds I wonder what that means, I know what it means Now just timing it to get it right is gonna be difficult From YouTube chat, hello, hello, hello We met Cass again It's a wonderful time May the light illuminate your path Thank you for sharing a nice song again, my boy. Cass's journal. I leave here a record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule. Let's look at the first page. The ancient song of Pagos Woods. It seems that a song has been passed down through the ages in the Pagos Woods area of Faerun. The song references mythical creatures such as dragons and giant serpents. I wonder if the creatures ever really existed, or perhaps they still exist today. The ancient song of the West Hyrule Plains. On the south side of the West Hyrule Plains, there's a bridge called the Jeddo Bridge. Near this bridge, there are a number of circular rocks with holes in their centers. Peculiarly enough, these rocks are apparently mentioned in an ancient song from the area. It sounds rather odd, but I hope to find out more about this ancient rock song. <laughs> The ancient song of Rabia Plain. Apparently, Rabia Plain, in the northern part of Hatino, is home to an ancient song about beasts. Rabia Plain is northeast of Kakariko Village. I'll likely stop by that village during my search for the song. The ancient song of Gerudo Tower. I've heard such word that there's an ancient song about a tall structure called Gerudo Tower. I don't know where this Gerudo Tower is, but mysterious towers have popped up all around Hyrule recently. This Gerudo Tower may be the tower that appeared in the Gerudo region. I am going to mark this place because I can come back here after I've fully done the map and try to determine where Cass will be. But yeah, when there's a blood moon, I'll have to come back here. Da 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 da. Oh! Farosh again. I guess you're not that far away from Hyrule Lake, but... Hey, dude! I wasn't expecting you. Da -da 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 -da. I guess technically I have a good, like, get back here place from Mog Latan. So I guess I'll go do this, like, uh, one. And more from YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We met Cass again, and he finally had something new to say. Also, Farosh's. Up there. Hey, Cass, you said the, in your little journal that you're like, like, oh, there's like an ancient song about ancient serpents existing. Turn around! <laughs> Fool what you are. <laughs> Want to chat about any topics? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Oh, I guess one topic is, I believe the publisher of, uh, PUBG bought out, like, uh, the, the, co like, uh, IP and copyright for Hi-Fi Rush, a very, very popular small game that was made under Microsoft, but then Microsoft just went and, uh, like, shut down the studio that made Hi-Fi Rush for, like, no reason, and then the next day went, oh, yeah, you know, uh, we need uh, more, like, smaller type games in, uh, to tide people over between the giant releases. Meanwhile, Hi-Fi Rush, very, very popular... Like, maybe wasn't the best monetarily, because I think a lot of people played it through Game Pass, and Game Pass isn't really a super-duper moneymaker. But it's just extremely tone-deaf 
to shut down a studio that made a very popular smaller game. Only to then turn around and be like, we need more of those games from this type of comp- of this development team we just shut down. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure... Like, how deep it'll go, but the article that talked about it, at least, mentioned that... The publisher of PUBG that bought the IP and, like, uh... I think also bought, like, the development team name or something, I forget exactly. But basically, they are looking into trying to bring back, like, uh, the individual members of the development team that worked on Hi-Fi Rush. Which would be super, super good if they actually follow through and it's not just lip service. Hopefully they do get a decent chunk of the development team back. Because that would just be the ultimate of poetics. Microsoft, like, just shuts down this studio that made a, like, a brand new beloved IP. Only for somebody else to buy them out because they shut down that studio. They buy out that studio from Microsoft, bring back the developers, and make a hit sequel. Because they, like, I think were in pre-production for a new sequel, or at least, like, had an idea for a sequel, and pitched it to Microsoft, and Microsoft responded by shutting down their studio. Which is just nuts. Big ol' corporations make no sense to me. Just remember, I should probably... Oh, Wasteland Coyote, you're not even a wolf. Interesting. I was wondering why you were looking slightly different. I guess I'll put on the... Warm Doublé. Yep. Impressive that the coyotes just do not care about my bombs. Oh yeah, but, uh, about that game. That's awesome good news to have another chance of uh, in-game entertainment. But it's also a shame how American corporations are stupid and greedy. Yep. Oh. Like, even with, uh... Even with that, it's getting super cold. Do I have any warm... Warm-up? I don't think I do. Oh, wait, no. Cold resistance. Spicy simmered food. Aha! And I think that's just music of Farosh passing over me. I probably should have gone to the Rito Village first to pick up, uh, Cold Resistance. Granted, I don't- this seems to be severe cold that probably wouldn't have helped much. But we need to get to the top to try and find the tower for this region. I don't know fucking shit that it's so cold. It's icebergs. Are you still a wasteland coyote? No, you're a cold-footed wolf. And I don't even see shit. I think that a glowing tower would stand out. Yep. Oh. You move. How delightful. <laughs> Pop out and die! And I don't have much cold resistance, so I probably need to get out of here. I thought, I was like, oh yeah, we'll come in, grab the tower, and leave with a quick five minute adventure. No. Doesn't appear to be. Let's see, is there anything I want to get rid of? Eh, Lionel Spear probably has a place. I'll leave you be. Wait, it is just, like, sad the state of, like, video gaming. Where corporations are, like, very narrow-minded. 
It can't just be like, hey, we want to make a cool game. It has to suffer through a billion different things. Kaboom. Especially because it seems that, like, a lot of the time, it's like you make a hit game, and then you turn them and be like, hey, we made a hit game. Can we make more? And then they just go, you dare ask for more? Die. Perish. We're just like, yeah, that's how you make games. You make games, they do well, you make more games. And Microsoft opposed that idea wholeheartedly. You dare ask for more? Hello, Farash. I thought you left. Please don't try and kill me. I'm not even trying to come near you. I'm just coming this direction. Is that a fucking guardian? How dare. Sure. Um. Hey, weirdo. Stop. I wasn't even expecting that. More rupees, huzzah! Are there any TV shows or films you know about or have watched? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Yeah, da, da, da. yeah, when it comes to over here, I think I don't have. Oh, darn it. Hang on. I thought it already ran out of energy not that long ago. But I'm trying to think. Haven't really watched any movies or television. I did come across a new YouTube channel that's pretty interesting. I believe they're just called Moon Channel. And uh, it's run by a, like, a, a lawyer. And he just has a really interesting, like, perspective on, like, in, a really interesting even perspective like, on the various topics, like, uh, he covered the Dis- or, uh, I almost said Disney. The Nintendo versus Yuzu lawsuit, and covered that even-handedly. He also covered, like, uh, when Nintendo went after, uh, buh 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 went after Dolphin trying to- well, technically it was less Nintendo going after Dolphin, the emulator, for trying to- put the emulator on Steam and more like Valve, like, contacting Nintendo and being like, hey, uh, are you cool with this? We don't want to be on your bad side. <laughs> he just, like, uh, he also did a cool video titled, Why There Aren't Any Good Christian Video Games, which also served as an interesting history of, like, uh, America has, like, religious roots. Also, that arrow did a shit ton of damage. What the hell? What are you? A knight's bow. I guess I should have seen that coming. And then another news. Kadikarus released a brand new video. Poor guy just keeps run into more and more issues. It's like, I'm going to make a video, and then the world says, no, you're not. Because he makes good videos. And the world just keeps slapping him down. I guess we'll head over here towards the Rito. Well, presumably the Rito village. Let's see if we can maybe buy like, cold here? I wish I could, like, point that out. That's very interesting. What the hell are you? Don't think I've ever seen that before. I guess we'll come down here to, uh... The Windmill Canyon, I guess. Or I guess I could try and float this way. Do that shrine walk over Windmill Canyon, go up to that, do that, and then head towards the 
blah, blah, blah. And of course it starts raining. My life is consumed by the evils of rain. Son of a... Well, you're gonna kill me. That didn't hit anyone. I have to knock you off your feet, ugly man. Leave me alone, skellies. The sun is almost out. It practically is, and there's a freezy boy. The world is hell. <laughs> do you know about Steven Universe and what the story's about? That I do. I forget exactly how much of it I watched, but I did watch a lot of it. And I know, like, all the story all the way up until uh, Steven Universe Future. Which is very interesting. I know about the, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. How people complained that, ah, how dare Steven Universe try and redeem the, the diamonds. Well, that's just like, that's what the show is about. Dear people, it's called a cartoon. Alrighty, new dragon. New dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Son of a bitch, it's the roaming horde of evil. I just want to get to the dragon. Leave me alone, I don't care about you! DRAGON! And it also means that I technically will have to go into Windmill Valley. DRAGON! And I just need to figure out well, where your thingy flies. And it hit the windmill. So down I go! And now I'm gonna have to get out of here. Denral's scale. I'm fairly certain I hit the horn. But hey. Now I can do that one, like, uh diddly D, because I'm fairly certain it was the goddess statue said, hey, bring me a, a scale from Denral. Yeah, I knew you weren't normal. You had the distinct diddly D of you. And now we have to get the fuck out of here. Guess we can try and climb. Like, I guess one way to do it would be to climb these, because there's kind of stopping points. But yeah, so I guess quickly to jump back to Steven Universe. I liked Steven Universe. It had good animation, it had fun characters and music. Personally, I think it had good, like, themes and, like, topics. And overall, I think people were just weird about it because it dared to be, like, LGBT-friendly and good. Such is life. <laughs> so what else do you know about Jim Kind from Steven Universe besides being obviously aliens? Well, obviously they had, like, the, the caste system... Of like, ah, if you're born this way, or like, I guess, made this way, you have to stay that way your entire life, and you're not meant to, like, really interact and fuse with others of different gym kind. And also kind of genocidal, take over everything, empirical shenanigans. I do think that people are a little harsh on Rose. I'm trying to think. It is Rose, right? Rose Quartz, yeah. Because it is an interesting, like, thing. 
where you're like first like uh, introduced to the character from kind of like a I'm trying to think the words a hindsight perspective that's also kind of scrubbed clean a little bit and then you really uh discover more and more about the imperfections of the character and i think that tainted like a uh, people's perspective of her a little bit to the point that i think people kind of forget where she ended and mainly focus on the like parts of the story that are like later revealed to us overall steven universe is a very interesting show and I do think that people were overly harsh and critical of it in weird ways. Like, the one critique I will kind of stand by is the fluctuating animation size, but only to a degree. Like, a character's changing size and not being consistent on design 100% of the time. Like, nine times out of ten, though, it's mostly a whatever thing and doesn't really like uh affect anything but then there are some times where the designs are wildly off and kind of noticeable but at the same time what else do you kind of expect from the poor poor like slave wage working conditions of modern day animators or like even the poor uh what are they called storyboard artists Back in the day, you would just, like, plot out the layout of a scene and the motion. Now they expect you to do, like, five billion things. And from YouTube chat, hello, hello, hello. I am trying to climb my way out of Windmill Valley because the red dragon showed up and I wanted to smack him. I was going to walk around Windmill Valley. But resource gathering opportunity presented itself. All right, trying to think. I guess continue climbing. We were originally trying to, like, uh, find the tower over there, but it is far too dark and cold to really discover it out there. So we're instead heading to the Rito village area to see. Wait a minute. This is the... Why is it playing the... Uh... What's it called? Why is it playing the stable music? <laughs> Dinra, I think it's the name of the red dragon. I think it's Dinral. Something like that. I might have to eat one of my stamina skewers. And I'm gonna play it safe and eat one of my stamina skewers. If I have one, I have one. It's not even all that much. I'll need to make more. I wonder, can I stand? I can stand. And now we can climb a little bit more. Get to the top and try to make it. And there it is. That's the stable. Doo -doo -doo. Gotta get to the top and then... Maybe there will be... Oh, don't do sh Ah. Fear. We'll go here because it's a little bit closer. Hey, Neon, would you like for me to explain what the gems really are from SU, uh, Steven Universe, in live chat? Eh, sure, go ahead. Oh, you game, you throw rain at me? Well, I guess now is better than 
like earlier, but still, Jesus, game. You even fall the stamina, I can't really get out because you stum in the rain, why? You fucker of a game. Breath of the Wild is so good. Breath of the Wild is very good. Even though there's rains. From YouTube, or from Twitch chat. Freedom. Howdy, how are we doing to get today? <laughs> the Legend of Rain. I'm doing pretty good. Breath of the Wild has been fun. We ran into the Red Dragon Din Rall, I believe. Uh, I know we did another thing. We got we got the uh, tower all the way down here. Activated that. Uh, beat up the three, like, uh, Hinox kin to access the shrine over there. And now we're heading to the Rito village. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is so good, so is Tears of the Kingdom. That's mainly one of the reasons I'm playing Breath of the Wild, to eventually get to Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, it's nice to relax and observe the animals every once in a while. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. Check my album. Look at this photograph. Oh, hey, you'll tell me kind of where that is. I was going to run there eventually. Ah, uh, these are the ancient columns. If you cross the Tabantha Great Bridge over there, there's a large cliff to the south. The ruins are atop that cliff. Thank you. Ah. I recall that shrine you can see on the right there, too, so I'm pretty certain that's the place. Thank you, old man. It's Beetle! Beetle! Hey! Hey! Thanks for coming to see me! Huh? Could that be? Oh. That's an energetic rhino beetle! It's a rare beetle you almost never see! Yeah, I know. It's my only one in existence. But please! Would you please consider giving me your energetic rhino beetle to beat him? Ah, <laughs> uh, fine. You can have it. <laughs> Apparently that made him really happy. This is a really hard to find beetle to find. This is a good omen for sure. Anyway, back to business. Tears <laughs> of the Kingdom is my favorite game. I bet you can't guess my favorite region. I honestly don't think I can. I've yet to play Tears of the Kingdom. I really want to get to it eventually. Wow. Playing this and then I'll play Age of Calamity again. Let's see. I guess I'll take this so that I can make some uh, elixirs to make me feel warm. I'll see if I can put the super teleportation stuff on my horse that I got. Ah. Welcome to a fine stable. I would like to take my horse. I'm going to assume that it has... Well, either we maxed out its diddly day. Let's see if it'll all automatically be done. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your horse isn't magic. <laughs> Joke's on you. My horse is magic. Well, if I can finally put the stuff on. How do I put that on? I'm going to look this up. That's kind of dumb. I have it. It should automatically be done. The quest completed, I'm fairly sure. Let me see. Quest, oh, questy quest. Ancient horse rumors. I have them both. Equip your horse with the ancient bridle for a longer lasting gallop. I would if I could. Let's see. Breath of the Wild. How to equip the horse gear. I just want to know how to put it on. Huh, apparently you can only customize your mount at stables that have someone out front feeding the horses. That's kind of dumb. I should just be able to do it uh, anywhere with these guys. Maybe if I talk to Maybe if I can just talk to him? No, no customize here. It has to be somebody out, and it can't 
be him, because he's not feeding the horse. And plus, it's raining. So that's dumb, so I have to... All right. We're going to board our horse, activate the shrine. Game, I'd just like to turn my horse around. We'll activate the shrine and teleport to anywhere other stable to try and do stuff with the goddamn horse. That's kind of a dumb system. I have the stuff. Let me do it. Yeah, because he's not technically feeding the horses. He's just out here admiring them. So we have to go to a different stable. We'll activate that if we can because it's fucking raining. But yeah, that's just dumb. I should just have to talk to that guy and be like, Hey, would you like to board a horse, take a horse, register a horse, or customize a horse? Why basically hide it around a corner? It's dumb. I just want to make it so my horse can teleport. It's mean. Yeah, we're just going to activate this so we have a fast travel point. And I guess we can also take that away. Now, let's see. Which one should we go to? Wetland. Let's go to Dueling Peaks because that's like the horse stable. I think that would be the one to be have all the horse, horse stuff. I guess as we teleport, we can read about Jim Kine from Steven Universe. They're obviously aliens, they're all created by the Diamond Authority, but it begs the question, where do the Diamond's origins come from? Whom or what created them to exist? That's true. Because the way that Diamond, or like the way that gems are made in Steven Universe is they basically, like, uh, inject the, like, inject a planet. Well, I guess, uh, do this, does this place have no horses to take care of? Ah, there we go, there are people there. Maybe I can take my horse and customize them. Hi. I would like to take my horse, Castle. Hmm? Oh. Because I assume that I need to like have my horse with me. <laughs> And like come over here. Aww. Aww. Looks like it to me, Darden. Judging from his eyes, it's just itching to get into the saddle. You're right. He's got. The, I'm already already in the saddle. He's got the eyes to just say like nothing. This world matters to me except horses. That means. That means. <laughs> that means we got ourselves a customer. <laughs> Howdy, mister. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. Or, welcome to the front of Dueling Peak Stable, I guess. You only can tell just by looking into his eyes. Bro, his head is just filled with horse stuff, right? That's right. Just look at his eyes. Right now in his head, it's all horses. Horses, food, and horses, right? In that case, you should feel free to ask us anything about horses. You want to hear some tips to help your master or your horse? Yay or nay? I didn't think of that joke, by the way. Darn it. I just want to... I just want to do things... I just want to customize my damn horse. Why is it so obtuse? Game. Can it be you, maybe? Or are you just going to be like Bibbidi Ba? Nope. I'm down. Like, seriously, I should just be able to talk to this guy. So I'll try a different stable, I guess. Ah. Oh. It's just asinine. Why is this so dumb? Let me fucking do my diddly da my horse. Quickly check and see. Yeah, 
Yeah, this guide still says just talk to somebody feeding the horses out front. That guide says it. Well, try and believe it. Maybe I can just talk to them without my horse. I'll try that first. And if nothing happens, I'll take out my horse and talk to him, and hopefully that'll help my guy. I just don't understand why it is re relegated to a weird off-to-the-side person and not the main guy. This is dumb. Yellow. Hello there, welcome to our stable. You stay a while, won't you? If you have a horse, we can help you change its gear main style. This should just be an up there front thing. <laughs> So I do have to bring my <laughs> my horse to you. Again, kind of dumb. Yeah. First off, dumb that it is just like off to the side. Second, dumb that it is seemingly random. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Get, fuck off, game. Dude. I just want to mash through the dialogue that you tell me each time I take out my horse. <laughs> we walk around the fire. Walk over to this lady. Can I do the thing? Oh? Oh, that's a mighty fine horse you have there. If you're interested, may I help you change your horse's gear or mane? Yes, please. Oh, but you should know I'm only interested in horses that are a race of lots of love. How's your horse faring on that front? It's a max bond, I think. Hmm. Aww. Wow, this one's eyes are so positively sparkling with affection. I can tell this little one is just head over heels for you. That sells I'll gladly help you out with some gear. Aww. All right, I guess let's change the mane. Long style, mohawk, French braid, floral, braided, long green, long blue. Let's go for long blue. <laughs> Let's see. Change the bridle. Ancient bridle. <laughs> and change the saddle. Which means I could have had my horse kitted out with this this entire time. I had the the horse and the teleporting saddle for a bit now. Yeah, just a little bit weird. A little bit weird and funky. Should just be a main like up front. Thing and not off to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try and get it to teleport. If so, I can, like, leave my horse out and about. And, of course, it's fucking raining again. Now that's good. But I wanna see something. Can I make my horse teleport to me if I put it in a stable? Yeah. I just want to test things out. I would like to board this horse. Oh. Yeah, that's just like a really... Okay, it has to be out and about. I do wonder, like, if I teleport while my horse is out. Hmm. But I don't know. I'm trying to think of the mechanics. And I don't really use my horse that much anyway, but that's just, like, a good thing to know. Well, we're gonna go down here, do the shrine. And then get a move on. You still think it's kind of weird. I just think it's very, very weird. Especially because, like, not all stables have somebody out and feeding because of the rain! Sometimes. 
and not all the people out feeding the horses are like, oh, we'll help you with your gear and mane. Sometimes they're weird little kids, but like, do you have any question about horses? You'd think that the main first initial horse tutorial stable would have all your needs, but apparently not. Remember to stay hydrated. Aim for the moment. Hmm. So more than likely... Take that. Oh, that's gonna shoot up. But yeah, I did it. Mine. Oh boy, Topaz! Ah, and then I go launch through that hole. Hole. I need to watch Half-Life VR, but the AI is in... Oh, uh, we were not go, go in hole. We shoot through hole. I need to watch that series again. It was very, very good. And, all, and then the sequel series, Alex VR, but the gnome is, like, evil. God, it's been so long. Da -da -da -da. We're almost, uh, we're one away from getting another stamina vessel. Unless I want to go get more hearts, but, uh, considering that the only thing that's, like, scary and, like, one-shotted me was the Elder Henox from that shrine quest I did at the start. I doubt that, like, I fought a Lionel. Granted, it was a red mained. Lionel. I'm not sure if that's, like, a scary Lionel or not. Hello, dude. You checking out the bird ladies? Oh? Hey, gods. Hmm, what is it, my smart man? What you looking at? Hmm, what could it be? I happen to notice that a section of the cliff face there in the distance looks almost man-made. <laughs> My smart man, tell me. You can see it too, yes? I would take a closer look if I could get there on my own. Oh, shrine quest. But I have no idea where exactly he's pointing. Oh, that. That's probably what he's pointing at. Just to make a note to myself. Uh, change pen to, I guess, treasure. Point of interest, fool! <laughs> Point of yeah, we're gonna steal that wood. Mine now. My wood. No one cares. I am a traitor. Yes, game. I know the basics of making shit. Mm. Ah, great fairy. Oh, pardon me. I was lost in thought. You've heard of the great fairy, right? The one from all those old stories. <laughs> Well, they're not just stories. I believe the Great Fairy is real, and I'm on a journey to find her. There's a tower just beyond the Tabantha Great Bridge. They say that if you go to the top and look at the ground something in the af sometime in the afternoon, the tower's shadow will point you in the Great Fairy's fountain. After hearing that legend, I decided to find out for myself, but now I'm stuck here at the stable because, well, uh... no matter how hard I try, I just know I'll never be able to climb that tower. And to think I even saved up all my rupees as an offering for the great fairy. But you, you look like you could climb that tower without breaking a sweat. Would you be willing to make an offering of rupees to the great fairy on my behalf? I'll do it fine, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, take the 500 rupees I saved up. It's my life savings. So please don't just go running off with it, okay? I mean, if it's going to awaken a great fairy, I will do it for sure. Well, we're gonna go past the 
Great Tabantha River. River? Yeah, not river. Bridge. And we're gonna climb that tower. And then probably try it, because I assume that's like the base of the, like, uh, Rito Village. Well, is, is the Rito Village is somewhere in here. We'll find it eventually. Surely. And then we can get sick drip. But first we're going to go do that shrine up there, which is also going to be a memory spot, I think. So double whammy. I thought that bush was going to be an enemy. I thought it was like, is that one of the like white tattooed freaks that's going to kick my ass? No, nah, it's a bush. That can go along with the earlier while I'm like, oh my god, is that like some kind of electro plant? Ah, oh, fuck, it's a guardian. Oh my god, it's a guardian. Oh my god, it's a skeleton! Die. Yep. Die. I think the smart idea will be to climb this to get away from the Guardian. Probably. <laughs> from YouTube chat, hey Neon, there are Steven Universe short videos on YouTube that gives explanations on what the gyms really are. Are they like official videos? Because that'd be cute. Cute if like official shorts were put out there to be like, hey, let's give uh, just like extra information on our world and story just out there for free. Granted, at the same time, there's probably Steven Universe lore videos. <laughs> like, just imagine I saw you falling star. I'm probably not going to be able to find you. But wouldn't it be funny if there was like Vati Vidya, like, esque lore videos on Steven Universe. I think that would be amusing. So yeah. We'll go there first. For memory and shrine. And then we'll head there. Alright, it's Sir... Oh, there's more. You see nothing. You stupid guardian bitch. You see jack shit. You don't see me. You'll never see me. I'm above you. And you never look up because you think you're too good. Mine. Meteor rod? Huh. Neat. I guess I'll mark this as a weapon. Cool old weapon, yo! Okay, I'll climb that, climb the rest of the way. Up we go! Yep, there are official short videos from the Cartoon Network on YouTube already. That's really cool. I like it when, like, cartoons are able to do cool little things like that. Especially in this capitalistic hell space. It reminds me of one thing that apparently was said, because, uh, like, uh, way, way back, like, uh, Power Rangers was being taken over by Disney, but they were, like, already mid-season from, uh, like, uh, midway through a season being made by Saban, I think they were called. And, like, uh, so the original team that were originally working on Saban were then kind of working under Disney and they were getting to like the 10th anniversary of Power Rangers. And so they were trying to uh, get permission from Disney for all this stuff. And Disney just said at first, why are you trying to promote old toys that we don't sell anymore? And like, uh, I think at one point even went on to say 
why don't we just dub the Sentai rather than actually go and make Power Rangers? Capitalism ruins fun. Which now reminds me of, like, the sad state of, uh, Power Rangers, because now, currently, Power Rangers is, like, in a, like, murky spot. Well, I guess I could, uh, take a picture of you. I shall take this picture. It is a black mummy. Just like after, like, uh, b -b -b for Power Rangers, they did the like, I forget, like 30th anniversary special and like 30th anniversary series through Netflix, I believe. And sadly. Like, uh, things didn't go too well, like, uh, ratings-wise, I think. Or, like, something, I don't know. It was either on, like, uh, the Power Rangers side or, like, on the Netflix side. Where Netflix doesn't want to go through with their initial idea of rebooting the Power Rangers for a new era. Time for memory. We're going on a memory spree, really, because this is the second memory that we've done this stream. <laughs> After we just stumbled across the, the other one, the horse statue one. Memory. Where in the timeline is this memory? Nothing. Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. That's interesting. <laughs> you need the sword's but chosen one and a slate. At least I hope. How do I get inside? Obviously you don't. Somehow. It's still closed a hundred years later. <laughs> it is your night. Hmm. Or, or are we actually going to open it up? I thought I made it clear that oh. I'm not in need of an escort. It's his job to look after you. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the king's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. Aren't we pretty far from the castle out here? I mean, I guess it's like a less than a day's ride on a horse to get there. And stop following me! That must have been an early one. <gasps> and she never did. <laughs> Open up the damn thing. I wonder when her opinion changed. Where she's like, fine, you can follow me. Especially because I think, like, that link back then, like, is mostly silent. Whereas it's kind of implied that this link of the uh, waking up post rejuvenation is a bit more chatty <laughs> from youtube chat there are three videos explaining different aspects about gym kind their physiology kindergarten and gym production that's kind of neat oh no it's a combat is it evil major it's a major oh boy well luckily i have decent armor let's see Best shield. Let's see. 
I guess we'll use. Now nah, we pr we really shouldn't use you. Well, we'll we'll finish it off. Finish this off. And uh, we should also probably get our health up a little bit. I'm gonna kill you. This is a major test of strength. Would have been hilarious if it just rose up like an, an actual guardian. Oh, rapid fire, bitch. 3,000 health, motherfucker. Damn it, and it does a lot of damage too. Yeah, you're gonna spin around at me, aren't you? You are not stunned for long, my dude. No. You're gonna take all of my goddamn weapons from me. Get smacked. Get flurried, idiot! Oh, you gotta spin! You gotta spin to win! No. Darn. No. Darn. I was trying to position myself. Didn't work. Very rude to me. I shall spin around you now. One of us will win this game of spinning. And it was me! I win the spin. Are you gonna spin now? Bash your head against rock. And now, smiggity, smackity. Smack. More spin. You wish to spin evermore? We spin in this dance of eternity! Oh, you're gonna smack your face into this here wall again? Oh, there's not one there. Shit. Smack! I basically got as many hits as it was gonna be anyway. Get smacked, idiot. More spin. But we go this way now. When will you give up your heathenous ways? Face plant into rock! Fool! Oh, not good. Oh, double not good. You're just gonna hit me. Ah, 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 ah. Hi, oh, you don't have a free point in your eye. Wow. At least it's not as much damage as your big ass axe. Run into the oh, never mind, I uh, 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 I will do this for days. I'm doing more damage this way than I was before. This works for me. Reveal yourself, demon. Oh, you do have a weak spot. I'm just a, an idiot. I'm a bad aim. <laughs> I have learned how to cheese you. Like Chuck E. Cheese. I Chuck E. Charles Entertainment cheese you. Oh, oh no. He's bad. I think it's gonna eternally do this.
And you have so much health left. Definitely gonna grab that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> True battle master. Not really. I still need to eat like two of my super hearty meals. Oh, and I know that I could back away out and didn't need to commit, but I figured, well, I'm here already. And apparently I was ready to take on this kind of uh, battle challenge. Like streams ago, I had the necessary hearts and equipment. I figured I'd go ahead and power on through. I feel like I should get multiple. I should get like four for doing that. You, you committed so much violence upon me and all I get is this one. One diddly da. One diddly do. Diddly diddly da. But onwards we go now. I guess I'll put on... Well, I guess put that. Put that. Uh, put on my normal clothes until we freeze to death. And now we make our way over there to the tower. So that we can then probably head over to the Rito village. thing is, we'll have to climb up uh, apparently a rocky place that's covered with malice. That ain't good. That's no good. <laughs> Luckily, we should be able to circumvent some of the malice just by climbing straight up. Calamity Ganon hates this one simple trick. I'm away. I knew it would be you, you little heathen. Bomb! That was just a flint anyway. Who is throwing these giant boulders at me? I swear it's the Korok. I don't, I think you're evil too. Ah, you're not evil. Good for you. But you didn't give me anything, so to hell with you. Sorry, big boy. I climb away from you. Yo -ho 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 -ho. And now I'm here, but tired. Who needs to actually walk a trail when you can climb Pyrolith's cliffs? Perilous. Perilous cliffs. And I hear you like corruption malice shit. But dinky donk. Alright, the last tower that I tried to climb apparently had an eye. Or I could just climb through the garbage again, maybe. Depending on, like, the angle, maybe. Yeah, so they do not want you climbing this tower. That's the weak point. So we're gonna exploit that by just going on through. Hut. Hut. 
find the eyes and shoot them? Screw you. Ah, uh, we will do this the bird way. We will fly. And I see, uh, I see a diddly D that we will mark. So that's already marked, so delete. But you are not, so we shall change that to treasure. Didn't see anything else. I see you, fairy. The guy said you needed a the 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 shadow. That you needed a shadow to find it. Do you not have eyes? I have eyes. And what's that above it? Ruins. I think I went over it. Don't worry, guy. I I'll give your life savings to the fairy. Considering that it's the third one, it'll probably take some of my life savings too. I feel sorry for the guy if he was just like, Oh boy, I managed to climb the tower. I see the great fairy fountain. Climbs back down through the malice, crosses the canyon. And it's like, boy, do you have 5,000 rupees? I only have 500. Get out of here, you broke ass bitch. And now we can teleport here whenever. Woohoo! 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 We did it. Now give me the map power. Give me the map. Give me the map. Give me the map. The map. The map a map. The map. The map a map a map a map. Huzzah! And since we can teleport here whenever. To the Grand Fairy, motherfucker! Well, it's probably just a tower for moblins. Moblins and moblins killing people, eating their guts, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Got me down a bit faster, I guess. Okay, listen, lady, I have 2,000 rupees. You ask for a 1,000. Boy, sweet boy, please, listen to my story. I am the great fairy Kaiser. This once beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg you help. I need rupees to become whole again. Good, I have a thousand for you. You're the first one that I actually have the money to do this. Thank you, you are too kind. The power, it's overflowing. Hello. How expensive are your upgrades? You must definitely are pleasant to look at. How would you like to live here with me, hmm? Sorry, I have Hyrule to save. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But you certainly are cute when you're blushing. I really can't thank you enough, boy, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance your pe a piece of clothing, I will enhance your clothes. So why don't you let me take a peek in that little pouch of uh. yours? With the powers available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Okay, so I need Shard of Nadra's Horn. That makes sense, I guess. Bop, bop, bop. Now, we don't have Hinox's Guts. Well, enough for you. Mm. Upgrade uh. my soldier's armor, I guess. Why not? And from YouTube chat, here's an interesting tip for combat trial shrines. When a shrine guardian charges you with spinning attack, you can counter attack by carefully timing your back foot dodge. Oh, 
I never really uh, thought about it. I was just like, oh, I'll just hide behind uh, by one of the pillars. But I guess it kind of makes sense that you can... Oh, I can do a third. But I guess I'll do the... Spend my Hinox guts upgrading mm. my greaves. Mm. But that's very interesting. Mm. Oh! <laughs> a full-on smooch. I, I forgot that we only did a level 2 upgrade there, not a level 3. Upgrade my chest guard. So I can be the sneakiest chest in the land. No one will stop me from chesting around. Chester Chichi Aina round. I. Let's see if we can do my full set. Mm. Doesn't look like we'll be able to do my full set. Ah! I should have done. I should have done my head and my pants. Ah. Uh. So that I could. Like, wear my warm doublet or other things. I do like how expressive Link is <laughs> in this game. And now I just don't have enough damn snails. The snails have betrayed me, motherfucker. Hmm? Go ahead and upgrade my Zora helm. See anything else I care to? I guess upgrade right. the Zora Greaves as well. Uh. That way we can have like the level two set upgrade for swimming, I guess. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Let me just check and see. Uh, doesn't look like it. Because, like, these things up here don't have any Aww. set bonuses, so I don't really care to. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for that guy. His life savings wouldn't have been enough for the this great fairy. And these luminous stones I can take to turn into diamonds. If I really wanted to. If I was ever truly short on cash, I could do that. <laughs> if I was ever truly short on cash, Banuka. <laughs> and now, from here, we shall try and make our way to the Rito Village. Or at least in what I presume to be the Rito Village. So I can meet more hot ass bird people. That yeah, seems to be it, and uh, so we need to head over there. Where there's also a stable, so I could aim for there, go up, head to the stable, and make it. You know, I really need to, like. My little mascot character there, my cat self, I need to draw, like, a Rito version. A Rito bird person version, because the Rito are so cool in this game. I think they are slightly, like, uh, what's the word, uh, under, underrated. They're quite underrated, I'd say. We shall move away from the monster encampment, head towards the stable. It would be cool if it was manned by, like, Rito themselves, but it'll probably be more lame-ass aliens. 
We need more bad people. And then I'll probably want to make more, like, uh, hot elixirs or heart, hot food. You know, probably elixirs since I have monster parts. To spend decently. Air Raid! Shadow Religions! I just find it funny that that's just a thing you can do. You can just flip, bomb, and no one can stop you. Bomb. You dare stop your running? Prepare for death. Who made that noise? I'll kill you. I thought I heard a slime. Ah, deforestation. Well, they have all this wood. I'm sure they won't miss these. And beetles here, too. The thing about me is I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy. I need that burny tingle. I need curry rice. Now I have Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. I just can't run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some Goron spice, can you give it to me? Sure. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Sonny Boy. Curry rice always warms me up. I hear the boy. It's the boy. It is Cass. Daddy Doof, it's Cass. Oh. Ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village. And I must admit, I'm feeling incredibly homesick. <sighs> I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. Mm. My promise to... On second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all of the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. Then that's another thing. We need to clear up all of these towers so that we can find Cass in all of the places so that we can finish his quest. But listen to me blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. We already heard that one a few stables back, my man, so... I'll have to pass for now. Uh. And another rumor mill! Greetings from Tracy, your source from the best gossip and news. Have you been hearing any good stories on your travels? I've got a great one for you today. The sword that seals the darkness. Surprise, bitch, I already have it. The only one who can wield this sword carries the blood of the hero in their veins. So what about, like... A modern day Legend of Zelda AU. And Link is like a renowned blood donator. Would that mean that anybody could potentially pull out the sword? Rumor has it that blade has been hidden away in a forest somewhere. I have to admit that this rumor really has me interested, but sometimes you have to face reality. My reality is there isn't any hero in my bloodline. So this sword would just be a big paperweight to me. Tracy's recommendation, one... Well, screw you too, Tracy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hey, how are you feeling today? Wow. Oh, you have a rugged rhino beetle in your inventory. Beetle just loves rugged rhino beetles. Can I take it off your hands? Will you trade it from a vegetable omelet? Fine, my boy. Whoa, thank you so much. You're even more awesome than I thought you were. I will cherish this beetle you have given me for the rest of my days. Anyway, back to business. Ah. Let's see what you got, man. I will buy more arrow from you. And I guess I'll take worn darmers too. So I can make some Bobba da Boz. Quite easily. 
And we'll talk to this guy before going along. Let me guess, you're the lumberjack. <laughs> My guy, you're here to do the thing, right? The thing? Come on, you know, the thing. Climbing the snowy mountains. I was confident I could handle the cold, so I didn't wear anything special. But the Hebrew mountains are really cold. Like, seriously cold. Cold enough to send you to your grave, I'd say. So be careful out there, yeah? <laughs> I think the cold has gotten to that guy. Well, up we go to the Rito. I already like their architecture. Might as well speak to the first bird person we see. Hello there. Yeah. Good day. Did you need something? Who are you? I'm Gessene of the Rito. The Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Hylian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get the chance. Thank you for not being a jerk to my ignorance. Dawn, I missed another cold Donna. Oh, I didn't even meet, mean to make that joke. When we get up there, we'll probably have to do some selling to afford more drip. Would it be wrong to hunt birds around the Rito? Do you think the bird, like the, the Rito, like, revere birds to a certain degree? Then again, we don't really revere, like, like apes or monkeys or anything, so. No, just be silly, I guess. Oh yeah, let me guess, the divine beast? Is it doing anything funky? It's not like raining down rain upon you. Is it just standing there ominously? Maybe screaming at you a bit? Granted, having like a super war weapon just floating around your home, probably not the like, nicest situation. Rito Village. Oh. Hmm? Are you a traveler? I'd like to show you around, but now's not a really good time. What's going on? Did you see the beast in the sky? That's Divine Beast Varmeadow. It showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. They say it used to be a divine beast. Or, I guess, divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem very divine to me. Thankfully, that thing only shoots at anything flying high above the village. Uh... But still, it is pretty demoralizing for us Rito to have to fly so low to the ground. I don't know where your pants end and your legs begin. I do kind of like the... Well, like the waist vents on your outfit. They're pretty cool. Any other questions? Not for now. Don't let me keep you. Hello, you. Give me more stamina. I think I'll go a bit more for stamina and then might get more health. How much more stamina? No idea. Oh. Hey, what's up? So have you seen it? Divine Beast Vomito? I saw it. 
Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. Mm. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Well, at least that's like a goal. Swallows roost. <laughs> roost, get it. And you use your own feathers for the beds? Kinky. Oh. Hey there, good day. So are you staying at Rito Village too? Yes. <laughs> I see, nice to meet a fellow admirer. I always liked the simple nature of this village. Mm. Although I'm starting to regret choosing it as my honeymoon destination. It's really cold here and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining non-stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Uh. Oh man, if this doesn't work out, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy. But I don't have any flint to start a fire. Let's see. I have a bunch oh. of flint. That unmistakable, slightly acrid scent. You have some flint on you, don't you? Can you sell me a piece? Sure. Uh. Th thanks. As promised, here's your payment. How much flint did you take? One? Now I can make some baked apples. I still need to make more baked apples to keep my wife happy, so please bring me more flint. Are you you are just an infinite you will just take flint from me? You will take flint for a hundred rupees. Uh, uh. For how much? Sure. Ooh. Okay, so it's ten flint for a hundred rupees. Oh, just seventy. Oh, not that good. But okay, you're just a place to sell flint, but still that initial payment. Hello there. Ah. Thanks for stopping by. This is Swallow's Roost It, Rito's Village Premier and Only Inn. A standard bed will run you 20 rupees. A Rito Down Bed will cost you 80 rupees. Rito Down Bed? Ah. The Rito Down Bed is made using only genuine Rito feathers. I will warn you, sleep a night on this bed and you will never want to sleep on a stable bed ever again. <laughs> Should you not wake up full of energy in the morning, I'll eat my own tail feathers, guaranteed. Well, now that would be a sight to see. Uh, not right now, but thank you. Oh, you're a traveler. We were just chatting about that monster in the sky. You know, divine beast Varmedo. Turns out that a long, long time ago, that thing was on our side. Oh. Right. A long time ago, the champion of Rito Village Ravali tamed that beast and used it to protect the village. According to the Elder, at least. And I believe him. Mm. So the story goes, but why did it start attacking us now? Ah, you're selling normal arrows there. Ah. I'll take them all. I have rupees for it. <laughs> and thank you. Cane sugar? That's interesting. But let's talk to you. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the Rito General Store of the Slippery Falcon. Was there anything you needed? Hm. What do you sell? <laughs> We carry just about everything, from items for self-defense to everyday groceries. You can find recipes that use our featured ingredients in the Book of Recipes over there. Oh, that's cool. Book of Recipes? Cool. Apple pie, nut fruit cake, fried bananas? First, you want to buy tabantha wheat and cane sugar here at Slippery Falcon, then just fry those up alongside some mighty bananas. Neat. Armor, warm clothes. Oh. Welcome to the Brazen Beak. What can I do for you? I guess I'll sell some mm. things so I can afford those their clothes because I want that trip! I have no idea if the star fragments are worthwhile. They're kind of rare, so I don't want to sell them. Amber is relatively sellable. Oh. Same thing with Opal. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to be careful because I don't want to sell, like, too many, like, uh, topazes and stuff. Potentially ruin that there. 
I didn't cook up much, like, sellable things. So, we'll probably wanna... Well, I guess I can get, like, another di like two diamonds easily. But we'll sell two sapphire instead. Should I? Mm. I guess I could sell monster parts. They go for a decent amount. Let's sell 30 bacoblin. Ah. That's more of an active ingredient. Guts are, like, semi-rare. That doesn't sell for much. Don't want to sell, like, any of these. Very good. Like, if anything, a Shard of Farash might sell decently, mostly because... I can get them rather easily. I'll sell one, and since I can get them very, very easily. Mm -hmm. And now I'll take a look and see. You're the most expensive part. 600. Lined with molted Rito feathers, this tunic was made by Rito artisans for Hylians visiting cold climates. The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. Oh. More. I'll take that. Ooh. I'll take this. The Rito sell these trousers to Hylians in Rito Village. The inside is lined with Rito feathers, so they excel at retaining body heat. Ooh. Oh, a, a thousand for the headpiece. It seems the simplest. A Rito accessory made from snowbird feathers. It's adorned with a ruby, a gem the, uh, that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. Oh. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for giving me such marvelous clothes. Now I have that Rito drip. I wonder if I can... Hmm. I guess I first should first, like, uh, try to... Ooh, have I marked that? I think I've marked that. Let me see. Yep, have marked that. But I'll activate the shrine at the very least, and then I'll go and see about upgrading these if I can. Hello, child. But, okay, it's kind of cute that apparently they sleep in hammocks, or at least these ones, this family does. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? The Divine Beast Von Meadow in the sky is the worst. Molly's dad got hurt, and Tulin's dad disappeared. Oh, that's dark. Mom and Big Sis and my little sister are all sad, yeah. and I can't do anything to help. Yeesh. Here's a place to cook, which is nice. Who are you, some kind of traveler? Did you come to make the big bird up in the sky stop bothering us? Sure did. No! If everything goes back to normal, Keel will make me go to singing practice. I mean, I feel bad that Molly's dad, Mr. Hearth, got hurt, but... But I definitely know I don't want to practice singing. Too bad, small child. Also, good to note that there is a torch here. Okay, that's kind of cool that there are, like, launch points for Rito to jump off and fly around here. Want me to tell you a story? I love stories! Awesome, me too! <laughs> Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest, when suddenly he saw a huge snow-white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow-white bird, and as soon as he got a little closer to the white birdie, Grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed. Well, what was it? I always get sleepy around that part of this story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is, though. Point it out to me, yes. It's over there. Ah. My grandpa said that he saw the snow white birdie from that tree. I'll mark it down. Aww. Hmm, now what did that snow white birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. I'll just have to activate it. Do it myself so I can tell you the story 
but brand new, small bird child. Hello, other small bird child. Uh, Meadow is up there all day today. I wish it would go away. Uh. Oh, my daughter is running around wreaking havoc. I hope she's not bothering you too much, Mr. Traveler. Not a brother at all. Really, I was the one bothering her. We'll activate you. We'll probably finish talking to everybody here. Fly, uh, like, uh, teleport off to upgrade these as much as possible because I adore this outfit. Uh, I'm exhausted. I guess I have to wait for you to not be tired. I guess I can wait out the time. Go upgrade this. Wait by a fire. <laughs> hey, Neon, I can clearly hear you like the Rito. Uh, the Rito kind. If you lived a, a life in Hyrule, in the world of Hyrule, would you like to be a Rito? Probably. The Rito are just so cool. Their designs are nice. And like... A, like a... The only other beings there are to really choose from, I guess, would be, like, the Gorons, the Zora, I think primarily, or, like, a Hylian, but why would you want to be a Hylian? They're just a person. Unless you're just, like, really... Like, I guess there are some people who would be, like, like, have their identity of being a human and s their identity of self just be really tied to being a human and so the idea of changing into like a different species that's kind of monstrous to a degree would be really out of sorts for them but i think being a being a rito would be super cool mm. i hope i have enough to stuff to upgrade my rito clothing uh. my rito drip Red Chew Jelly, so I at least can do some, and I can uh. maybe go and fight some Red Chews around the <laughs> Death Mountain Tower. Yeah, but like I said, I really need to draw my cat self little character down there <laughs> as a Rito, maybe. I want to be able to, hopefully I'll be able to enhance these twice. Doesn't look like it. We'll enhance all these once. Maybe head to Death Mountain. Or, like, see what else we need to fully upgrade these. Because I want that bonus. I don't know what it is, but I'll want that bonus. I want that Rito bonus! Hi. My snow uh. quill headdress, please. And so when I walk around, people will be like, holy shit, where'd you get those awesome clothes? And I can tell them the Rito and give the Rito an economic boom. Although then they'd have to do, deal with tourists a lot. Then again, the world is hell and there are a bunch of monsters everywhere, so. Ward Saflina. I don't know where to get that. Shit. And Red Chew Jelly. Hmm. Trying to think, because it seems like I've never had warm saflina. But I would assume the warm saflina would kind of be around oh. Rito Village, probably. You know, I just realized, I guess this is more like... So, like, actually, I'm going to fly down to Rito Village again and look for some more saflina. So that I can then... Go grab more red chew jelly and upgrade these to level two and see what the set bonus would be like. <laughs> yeah, I can totally understand why it's interesting to be a Rito. I mean, they're bird people. Keep all flying like birds. And also use their bird hands as hands. 
which is very useful. Hmm. I could follow this path to roughly get there again. Why not? Try and fly the normal way a bit. Technically, I could have flown from there, but I wanted to scout out. I'm gonna look for warm Saflina. And if I can, I'll take a picture of warm Saflina to really look for it. You think you can fight me? You're not even birds! And real birds have bombs. For the power of aerial superiority. I do wonder what the purposes of these are even are. They seem to be made by the Rito. Or at least they kind of have that embroidered look to them. You dare? Somehow your friends didn't hear me murder you. How did you turn around? You dare turn around and face me? Art a fiend what you are. These guys have very poor aim. Oh, I thought I could grab that. Damn. Where's that fourth damn chaos damn emerald damn? <laughs> Maybe one of these days I should try and stream out damn. Hmm. How would one climb? Trying to think. Oh, that guy. Well, I guess I know where you spawn around here. I, uh, I won't bother trying to get stuff from you. I don't want to fall down into the, uh, what's it called? What do I call it? The, the windmill canyon. Just yet. From YouTube chat. I have arrived. I recently got home from birthday dinner. Happy birthday! I hope the dinner was quite delicious. Right now, we've made it to the Rito village. I got my Rito drip, but I require warm safrina to be able to upgrade it to level two, and I do not have warm safrina. And then I'll also have to uh, go about uh, grinding red chew jelly. So it's mostly just been me going, I really like the Rito. Rito are very nice. It was very delicious. That's good to hear. Birthday meals can be quite very nice. And when they're super delicious, it just brings a nice sparkle to the day. But I assume that, like, warm safrina would be, like, around where, like, these Rito areas. Maybe I need to be deeper into Rito territory for Warm Safrina to show up? No idea. Whenever I see, like, a pile of rocks, I always worry, is that gonna be, a, like, a stone talus? Is it gonna kick my ass? I do have a hammer, so it wouldn't be too, super terrible. Yep. 
die, fiend. Fiendish fiend fiend of fiendish fiendishness. Who fiends. Maybe I wonder if the warm Seferina is more up in the mountains. Like the cold mountains of the Rito. Die, Keese. You are not birds. So die. What? Oh! Is that what I think it is? Oh, it's a swift violet. Ah. You dare catfish me with this... What? Caw? Caw indeed, bird. I guess I could use this as my... What the fuck are you? Identification. But that's probably another Swift Violet. Swift Violet. I need warms? Or... Yeah, I think it's like... I know it when I see it. You know, if I uh, hit you with a fire arrow... <laughs> Red shoe jelly! <laughs> My Rito drip will be immaculate. Again, whenever I see a pile of rocks, I'm just like... Satan or not Satan? Welcome to America's favorite game show! Satan or not Satan? Surprise, it's always Satan. It's always Satan. There is no reprieve from this hell. We will climb this, I guess. We will climb this, I guess. And then we'll make our way... Back to Rito Village so we can talk to everybody. See if there are any quests there. So we can just do everything for the Rito people. Because just like... I'm just... It's super cool that Legend of Zelda has bird people. It's just super nice. Because bird people cool. Up and away we go. It's going to look like I'm going to have just enough stamina to get all the way there. You know, I just realized, I wonder if there is like a... Like a hearty, like health version of stamina. Where it gives you like a temporary stamina meter. Oh, a, a 9 damage but durability up one. So if I just want a shoot everything bow... Let's see. I wouldn't mind having a bow used just for shooting, like, uh, Korok challenges and stuff. Maybe not, like, actual combat, but... And, uh, nope, you're just, a uh, normal. I need the warm Safrina. <laughs> My doll, I keep finding a peppers. Huck. Hey, Beetle, you here? Huck. You happen to have warm Safrina on you? like having cats here. And we'll also have to endeavor to try and do like a uh, Kaz's quests so that we can allow him to return home. So he can be with his family uh, until uh, Tears of the Kingdom where apparently he doesn't appear, which is sad. <laughs> They dare do this to the bestest boy. 
Granted, I don't know entirely. I only heard that cast is not returned. It would be hilarious that if that was just a thing I saw again and again, and it turned out to be a lie. He is there. And he's willing to fuck. Anyon, there's also another fantasy story about minerals and gemstones, a Japanese manga titled uh, Hoyosuke no Kuni, Land of the Lustrous. I think I've heard of Land of the Lustrous. <laughs> that has, uh, like, a gem, gemstone-based, like, thing. That's interesting. Like, I'm fairly certain I've heard of Land of the Lustrous, like 90% certain. Oh, that's very interesting. There's so many, like, animes and shows that I need to get to eventually. There's too much grass down here. It's taking up all the bandwidth. Okay, it's cool that, like, every time you enter this place, it plays... Like that intro music. It's just so good. Yo, you sell warm safarina, please? Darn. <laughs> and the list keeps growing. Yep. There's always more games, always more shows, always more movies. It'll never be the end, Billy. You'll never escape it. Hello. What are you doing here? You, you adventurers are crazy. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I was talking about you, you know. You see Divine Beast of our meadow flying around up there? The village is in disarray thanks to that thing. Uh... If I were a properly trained soldier, I'd go straight at the beast and bring it down. Well, I think even a properly trained soldier would have a hard time getting up there. Kyo, why must you always insist on worrying your poor mother? What's the matter? My youngest daughter, Kyo, wants to go to Warbler's Nest. She won't stop talking about it. I have five daughters, and ever since that beast appeared, they've been getting needier by the minute. Mm. At times like this, I wish he was around. I wish I could have a kid again and think only of myself. Well, be a kid again and think only of myself. But that's the thing about being a parent. You have to be bigger than your children. They say it's too dangerous to go outside the village right now. But all I want to do is go sing with my sisters at Warbler's Nest. Ah. That divine beast of our meadow is a big jerk! Ah. Kiel, watch your language. She just said jerk, lady. Oh, Roto on Twitch is giving me a raid! Hello, hello, it was three minutes ago. I am a failure of a human being. But thank you for the raid! I hope your stream went well as well. We're here with the Rito, the marvelous Rito. Kyo, watch your language. But, but... I do like that they actually show you that, like, the negative effects of, like, the basically rampaging beasts, divine beasts. It's very neat. <laughs> I'm just exhausted, so no fret there. That's a mood. I hope that you at least had a lot of fun and that you can get some rest. Uh, welcome. Uh, what's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. Ouch. But I want to help. Ah. Hello. Say, Traveler, I take it you've seen Divine Beast of Meadow. Everyone is at a loss as what to do. Ah. I can't help but sigh every time I look skyward. It is a big thing. Kind of scary. It's just standing there, menacingly. When will we be able to be go back to living a relaxed life here? Dum-da-dum, la-la-lee. Uh, 
Ever since Divine Beast Von Meadow showed up, my singing voice just hasn't been the same. Well, I guess having a giant monster thing hovering above you at all times would kind of take, <laughs> like, the passion out of things and kind of bring a bit of uh, stress to life. Can I help you? What's wrong? Never mind. Forget it. Huh? Good day. Good day. Good response. Great kids are great greeters. That's what my dad always says. Oh, listen to this. Dad promised he'd play with me later. Cool. Totally. Spread your wings at the flight range and it's like whoosh. You go flying way high. Flight range? <laughs> Past that shrine that I was going to do anyway. That place over there at the flag is the flight range. <laughs> I hope Dad comes back soon. I want to go play there. It's like all the fathers are missing. Jesus Christ, you're a big bird. So this is what happened after Sesame Street went down. I'm scared of that bird monster. I hope it doesn't eat me. Did the village elder tell you about it? Are you scared of it too? <laughs> I'm a little scared. Well, you're much bigger than me. If you're scared, I'm doomed. What should I do? I've got it. I'll feed it lots of fish until it's too stuffed to eat me. Ah, but what if when I try to give it the fish, it eats me instead? Mm. I'll say, not scared at all. Oh, really? Are you a champion or something? Do I have to wear the champion's tunic? Not scared at all. Hmm, maybe I need to ask you about the bird monster, because you had, a, like, a question, exclamation point above you. You haven't heard? Then you should go talk to the elder. You can always ask me to hold your hand if the story gets too scary. Th these Rito children are adorable. Hello there, elder. Big bird. Huh. I wonder if that's like a, a bird-like leg brace, or if it's just... Because, like, he has, like, like, I don't know what those are. They're, like, just, like, little hats to his talon feet. I don't know, just, like, <laughs> bird fashion. That's cool. Cool. Ah, uh, visitor. Welcome to... Oh, oh! That object on your hip, could it be... Forgive me, where are my manners? I'm Canale. Elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah slate dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That must mean you must be a champion like Master Ravali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Varmedo. Oh. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This must, this boy must be a mere descendant. An inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Whoa. Oh, forgive me, champion descendant. If you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen, old man. Oh, thank you, truly. <laughs> now that I know that you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Varmeto, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rita warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Oh. Teba and Hearth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well and Hearth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, Perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Varmedo. Do you still have that quest for you? Not scared at all. Yeah, I could have sworn that kid had a... Bah, bah, bah. Or maybe I saw it over you, because I know you had a quest too. At least earlier. God, what a ghastly face. Good day. Oh, I just realized that you're a Hylian. You're just wandering around Hyrule trying to find yourself? Well, I guess, yeah. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously a hole. I will kick you off this board. I will not hesitate, bitch. 
In Gerudo Town, they've got jewelry to buy. Zuru's Domain is always a hoot with all the weird spiritual fish people. But here, I just want to go home already. <laughs> oh, really? Give me a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but if he doesn't want a divorce, I told him he'd better bring me a baked apple. I think you're a very shallow human being. Bring Junia a baked apple <laughs> and save her marriage. Do I have a baked apple? I have some baked apples. Hey. I know that smell. You got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. Sure. <laughs> you serious? Cheers. Just hold out your hand. So you're probably a repository of baked apples. Now I've got a second stomach and a hollow leg for baked apples. Bring me as many as you can possibly can. So you're probably another, like, just <laughs> instant repository. Okay, that just one had five arrows. That was immensely valuable. Okay, so that's going to cost five arrows to do. Might as well do this shrine. Then I think I'll head over there to try and find the warm Safrina. So I can be the most Rito-y Hylian to ever exist. And now I have my new baseline wander around thing. It'll mean not as many just grabbing things out of the air as I pass them by because no stealth, but it's such marvelous drip. Ah, wind. And also stairs that go up. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Darn. And this is like a mini tutorial. To really show you how it works. Yeah, an ancient core. Hmm. There's a little outlet there. Oh, I wonder if you could have come over here and smacked it instead. Oh, it's just to kind of show you. Neat. Alright, so I have to presumably... get them all to... like, uh, get all of these flowing. Hmm. Luckily, I can just get my arrows back. So I will uh, use my Rito bow, since it has a durability up. And that should start blowing all of them. And that can start blowing those. Start blowing those. Which means you can move as well. Hmm, I believe we should be able to. Looking at all the available fans. I think. Hmm. So da da da. Gotta look through all the fans. Because let me look at your limitations. Hmm. 
Because from the surface look, this one has to get all of these. Like, from a surface look, that's more important. Then, in a way, you should hit these ones instead. Oh, and we were already there. I did it. Kind of by accident. Give me that spirit orb. Booyah. Out we go. I'll fly down to that one that seems like we need to shoot arrows through the hand, like pillars, according to their fingers. Which is... That's a monster thing. Where are you? I know I saw you. There you are. We'll fly over there. Keep an eye out for the warm Safrina. But it'll probably be more in a... Blah, blah, blah. It'll probably be more in a... Like, a warm Safrina will either be in a... Hmm, because... I guess a warm Safrina would probably be more in a... Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Oh. Warm Safrina? Oh, cool, Safelina. So I wonder if I was calling it warm the entire time. Because I have cool Safelina, so that's not what it is. High elevations, such as Hebra Gerudo regions, when cooked into a dish, it'll be temporarily increase your heat resistance. And I believe that the upgrade material for our outfit is warm Safelina. So I'm just trying to think, because, like... It's interesting because, like, there's, like, the peppers here that are in kind of nearby a cold region area. But then there's also, like, hmm, I'm trying to think. Of the psychology of where would you place things. I guess there must be a rock around here somewhere it wants me to put down there. Korok and shrines, they go hand in hand. Alrighty. Finger one. Finger two. Finger three. Finger four. Finger five. I guess I didn't do it right. That's just what I assumed. Hmm. Must be a specific thing to send through, then. All right, Korok, where are you going to lead me? Where will I be taken by the Korok? Is it really kidnapping if they lured me away? It would be amusing if a Korok just, like, led you to a monster place. You're like, ha 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 ha, you're gonna get attacked. Yeah. And I do see bones down there. <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> but we'll go to the more cool area. And we shall see. <laughs> yes, by definition, it's still kidnapping. You never know. We don't know the Rito Court of Law. Oh, there's monsters around? At least I think so. It entered the creepy music. 
Then again, I think there was a monster hideout not too far close, maybe? I don't know. I have too many diddly-dees. Oh, take a large leaf and blow wind into the holes. That makes more sense. I do not mind that hint because I'm a fool and probably would never have thought of that. Oh, we've never gotten a big hearty truffle before. Fool what I am. And from YouTube chat, I finished building the Lego Minecraft end ship. Hmm. I never got into Lego myself, but it's also such just a cool thing. Just like a... Just a cool thing to get into and try. Just go out and make things. So huzzah! Glad to hear that you were able to... Finish a mine. Uh, finish a Lego craft set. Especially like Lego Minecraft. They just kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Down here. Looking for warm Safrina that I would assume be. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because either warm Safrina would either be in a hot region or a cold region. The fuck are you? A great horned rhinoceros. National Geographic will be mine. We shall do horrible hunting. Time to test if it flies. It did not, and then you will never find all those Lego pieces again. They are lost for eternity. Who keeps chaining up? Oh, there's a moose? This game has meese? What? Interesting. And the macoblins are after me. I just wanted to take wildlife nature pictures and the monsters beyond the grave have come for me. Why do you get big weapons of doom? Die. Oh, and it's, the, it's a big man. It's a big mac. Come for us all from beyond the grave. Explosions! Fool what you are. Get smacked. Get smacked. Get thrown away. I pick up your weapon. Dragon Bone Moblin Club. Die. Oh. Uh. Don't you run away from me. You run at me. On your horse. You draw your giant ass Dragon Bone Death Machine. And you have the gall to <laughs> run away? At least the horse is sturdy. Ow, how dare you. You stop that right this instant. Now that was me, I just missed. No. Concerning he was waving around like he just didn't care, I feel like he should have dropped it. I will not engage in fair combat. My the winds have betrayed me. You saw me plant that. The thing that's been blowing you up. And you just walked towards it. Ah, you finally let go of your weapon. I'm saving your uh, dragon bone stuff uh, for another day. The, the, the round one is just not working well. Victory is mine through demolition. Oh, hey, with this outfit, I should be able to go up like uh, Mount Laneru without a care in the world. 
Shawarval. Shawarval. And I guess this is here so that it's like, ah, you can easily get to the shooting range. We shall go down and see what there is. For some reason, my brain just conjured the idea, what if one of the monks was a clown? I don't think the ancient Sheikah had the concept of a clown. I don't know, that just looks ominous. Path of the Hidden Winds. I don't know, that wind looks pretty not hidden to me, Billy. Wah! Oh, shiza. Hello, Billy, fuck off! And die! Give me your ancient screw. Your ancient screw isn't for you to lose, it's for mine to take from your corpse. Yay, the purple ruby. It is mine now. I just look around quickly. Doesn't seem to be much out there. I don't even need you, platform. I am one with the birds. What? How did the ancient Sheikah just build these giant ass rooms? <laughs> Is there something on the other side? Days! Now that's a hidden wind! One second there, monk man, who is also probably a clown. Treasure chest. I don't need you. But at least now I know you're here if I ever need a bow in the future. Give me your orb! Do you keep your orb underneath your fabulous hat? Ding. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have skipped because just looking at it, it almost looked like the monk was doing the think mark pose to a degree, just like pointing towards itself. Think, Link. How will you save Hyrule if you don't do all of the shrines? Oh, hey, there's a cabin. I'm gonna go over there. But at the same time, why can't the... the dudes just give me... the health and the stamina? Do they want the world to die? Bomb. You threw your head friend's head! Fiend! What you are! We blew that arm away. All of their bones are mine now. Their bones are mine, and I will replace my bones with their bones and become God. Like Megatron did. Hey! Greetings, traveler. Mm. I have to say, your visage looks just as troubled as ever. Perhaps a glimpse of your future will ease your worries. Oh, you're a traveler. You're a fucker. You're a bitch. What do you think? I'll pass. Perhaps as that's for the best, some things are best left unknown. <laughs> like... How today's the day your life ended. Now die! Whenever I see just Traveler, I know. Yeah. 
smack, smack, smack. Get out of my life. I take your bananas. Your bananas, my bananas. It is mine now. Suffer and bleed. Is that what they? Oh, no. Every time I see a plant, I'm just like, is that the plant that I desire? Is that the plant? No, it's just normal plants. I'll be able to get so many diamonds with these. Well, I guess we'll read this and see what it has to say. Trailed Head Lodge. Climbing path. Interesting. Wood for me. Evacuation hut notes by Selmy, the Duchess of Downhill. Whether you've come to Hebra Mountain to shield surf the slopes, hunt treasure, or just to find a walk, you must remember, this mountain will kill you. The accident rate on this mountain is too high to measure. And before anything else, you must dress appropriately for the weather here. Not like you're heading to Hyrule Field. Despite the dangers, though, this snowy peak really is extremely beautiful, and it's an ideal spot for shield surfing. I want as many people as possible to enjoy shield surfing, so I'll leave behind the manual for survival on the mountain. I hope that you can help people enjoy... I hope that it can help people enjoy Hebra Mountain. I've left a few things behind the mountain trails and at the base of the flags planted. If you're in trouble, spot a flag and head toward it. Hope, hopefully these flags will, or these items will be of use to you. Someone will, someone else has added notes. Sell me, baby. I think I'm a better si shield surfer. If I prove it, can we get married? This total loser will never win. I didn't know what love was until I saw Selmy sliding down the slopes. I can't believe you retired. Where did you go? Selmy, thank you for leaving the food. I'll make good use of it here at the hut. I saw some kid at no Cold Snap Hollow. He looked like he was pretty great at shield surfing. Selmy, thanks for the food that was left here. It seriously saved my life. I'll be sure to leave some for the next person. To whoever is reading this, please take as much of the food as you need. Eh, this is kind of funny. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Bu -bu -bu. Trying to think. Another meteor rod. But it kind of makes me, uh, reminds me of, uh, Left 4 Dead. Just people putting comments on the walls of safe rooms. I wonder if snow actually slows me down or if I'm just used to running around at max speed at night with my, like, uh, Sheikah set bonus. But I can wander around here and not have to worry about cold. Hmm. I don't really care about fighting you, so I'll tr maybe I'll check out the, f the, the climbing path. Off we go. To the climbing path. Because I'm just interested in climbing this place and looking for the warm Cephalina. Then again, we found the cool Cephalina here, so it's possible the warm Cephalina is, like, uh, actually in warm places, so. Could be making a fool of myself. <laughs> I find it funny. The fl one flag is already here. Ah, the snowballs from hell are failing to come at me at any degree ever. Good job. Print. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Came at me for giant hammer. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. That's our super emergency food. You're gonna hit me, and that'd be bad. <laughs> I had to deal with that guy first. Now, where'd you go? Where did you go? Um, Lizalfos? Oh, he went back over there. Yeah, walk at me. Go flying. Hit some chew jelly. It's Max. 
Quit dancing around. Why would you do that? Your confusion foo is working, I guess. <laughs> Landed one good hit and then just danced around. You'll never hit me. You'll never hit me. You'll never hit me. <laughs> true, to the, true to that. Didn't really hit him all that much. Guess I'll drop you for you. What shall I put on? I guess put down that. <laughs> Why did I hear that as warm Seth Wiener? Because I'm probably slurring my words slightly. And I completely forget exactly what it is. Eh. I guess if I wanted to come this way, I should probably loop that way instead. So I guess I should probably head back down. Maybe look up where warm snuffleupagus is. But I guess to end off the stream, I shall go get that one final towel instead. And then maybe look up where warm Cephalina is. Pick one up so I can then do some harvesting. Because again, more than likely, it's in a warm place. It'd be hilarious. It was like, warm Zephyrina can only be found in the depths of Fire Mountain of death, doom, and destruction. Which I guess would make sense. Like, the warm darners are found at Death Mountain, so it kind of makes sense that... Like, I guess I'll just teleport instead of first things first get rid of that teleport there fly down go let's -a go I haven't used the Sheikah sensor in a while for just normal items should probably do that but I don't know what for, especially because if I use it, it'll beep at every given opportunity. We shall fly. Fly this way. You're a Korok, aren't you? You're a Korok, aren't you? It'd be hilarious if there's just, like, normal rocks at the top of places. Just to be like, heh, you thought this was gonna be a Korok, didn't you? Fool. You thought just because it was a single rock at the top of a place that it would be a Korok? <laughs> Fool. But yeah, see, there's like cold darners here. That when mixed into a, an elixir, I think, make it so you can withstand. Because I think so. Let me actually see. Cool Cephalina increases heat resistance. Heat resistance. Which actually, or did they actually say, hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm, my brain might be betraying me. Oh, actually, idea. Go there, then fly there to double check what exactly the plant was. Because I know it was a Cephalina, but I thought that it was warm Cephalina. Which could entirely be not the case, and I'm just a fool. Also, there was a d d Daddy Dilf cast back there. Just going like, I cannot return home until I've learned all of the ancient songs as a promise to my master, I presume. Hello there. Do not, do not mind the... Oh, you haven't restocked in forever. I'll take more arrows. Sure, I'll pay that premium. Uh, be attacked by uh, wolves now. Goodbye. You dare attack me? Foolish wolf. And they all just ran away from each other. I 
I guess I'll swap this out for the purple one so I have a better idea of the direction I'm going. I'll just ignore you. I don't care. Just the road muggers trying to steal my rupees. Apparently there's like a shrine up there, I guess. Or nearby in that direction. Potentially in that direction. It just gets stronger when pointing there, but not the whole way. Got a wolf. You will not prey upon me today. That is a very shoddy just overhang. I swear it's the Koroks! And that's just like Swift Violet, so I don't care. But yeah, these like rocks fall, and so many times there's like nothing around to have pushed them. I feel it has to be the Koroks. They're here to kill me. The Koroks are probably like, ever since the downfall of the Kingdom of Hyrule, we've had the, the run of the place. And really, I doubt that, like, the monsters would come for them. You know, I probably should have taken my horse. He can teleport and everything. But I'm just like, yeah, I'll just go on my own way. Do my own thing. Scare away the cold donnas. I wonder why they're called cold donnas. Like, the cold part is obvious, but what's a donner? You stay away from me. Why can't you attack your friends there? You're obviously not the same overall species. The Guardians attack them. Why don't you attack them, big freak? Tabantha Village Ruins. That's kind of sad. Now monsters have the run of the place. <clears throat> Oh, it's probably- it's more cool, Safan. But still, it is entirely possible that this is actually what I wanted. But I could have sworn that was, like, purple instead of blue. Well, I guess it was technically this is purple, but, like, a more red purple. And it was warm Safina. Kind of like how there's warm Darners versus cold Darners. Cool Safina versus warm Safina. Is entirely possible that I'm a ruddy fool. Darners are a species of dragonfly. Oh, I guess they're just like in real life. Hello, my dude. Ooh. I like the snow and all, but I wish it wasn't so cold. If you ever happen to be in the area, you should visit the small cabin in Hebra East Summit. You young folk are crazy about shield surfing, and I don't blame you. It's a great way to forget about the cold. Would you like to browse my selection of uh, specialty mushrooms? Sure, dude. Ah. I might as well look. Can stay cool. Stamella. I guess I'll buy some Stamella. Oh, it's only one. Good for you. Ah. You found a single mushroom. I'll be sure not to kick your knees in and throw you to the moblins. I'm gonna guess that these are like super cold and if I touch them I die. But I'll first I'll grab that cool Safina. Will bombs do it? No. Will fire do it? Oh, fire does it! Uh, a little bit. I have, I have a lot of fire. I probably should have used that meteor wand, huh? Rather than use my limited resources. This is probably the easiest, like, overall tower I've done in forever. There's no guardians, there's no malice corruption, there's no, like, weird places, mark you. Change stamp, treasure chest. 
It's just good, simple fire. Granted, it's probably only easy because I came here with a bunch of fire arrows and technically a meteor wand that I forgot that I had and therefore didn't use. Anybody stuck up here? Good. Nobody stuck up here. Give me the Sheikah Tower Power Hour! And now there's only two Sheikah Towers that I do not have control over. One in the far off, like, blizzardy hell zone that I should be able to survive now that I have Rito Drip. And then the one not too far from there in the Gerudo Desert. Give unto me infinite knowledge. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yep, this is a mountain range. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the white birdie that that one Rito child told me about is all the way in there. Okay, but just to satiate my brain, we're gonna teleport there, go to the Great Fairy, be like, hey, Great Fairy, remind me again, what Safinas does it cost? And probably will be Warm Safina because these are warm things that make it so that you stay in cold areas while the cool Safina cool you off in hot areas. But I want to reassure my brain. But considering that, like, I found a Safina, put it in my inventory, and it was, like, the third one, probably just completely wrong on cool Safina being the right one. But I need to satisfy my insipid brain. Third great fairy that I have awoken, not counting uh, the wolf, uh, not wolf god, the horse god. Uh. Let me check and see. Yep, warm Cephalina. Aww. I don't know where that Aww. is. Again, probably in like a normal area. But I shall quickly look up, because I want to find some. So that my knowledge is complete. All right, this one says they can be found in the Gerudo Desert or Hyrule Ridge, which I guess makes sense. <laughs> I suppose it makes more sense than uh, Death Mountain, at least. But Hyrule Ridge, or maybe this is Hyrule Ridge. I do not know where Hyrule Ridge is. God save us from Trilby Valley. I guess the best way to do it would be to just come over here and head to the area to grab warm Safflinas as well as do the, the tower. Might as well. It'll do another tower and give me access to warm Safflina. And therefore, ultimate Rito Drip. <laughs> Although it'd be kind of hilarious and sad if the Rito Wear didn't have a set bonus. <laughs> but at the same time, that would be just no well on me. Alright. Edit you out. To be orange. Go ahead and mark that, just as we can. Change you to treasure chest. Hmm. All right, so the best thing to probably do is there, go up ish, maybe. Oh, there's a. There's an EX there! It's probably just something terrible, but why not? I don't even need my warm doublet up here. <laughs> Bomb arrows. 
from an EX chest. You dare. Well, we're gonna go there. You know, I just now thought of another potential challenge run for Breath of the Wild. Minimal use of the glider. You climb and walk everywhere. That sounds like it would be a nightmare, because, like, I'm making so much distance. Imagine if I had to walk from the start. Potential pain and agony. And I am cosplaying myself in real life by wearing really hot, like, <laughs> really warm clothes in hot weather. Because what better time to wear, like, a hoodie than a hundred degree weather? Although I'm not sure if I can climb through here. Let me guess, Korok? Yeah. It's always a Korok. Yeah. Now prepare to dive. I wonder if I can squeeze through this gap. I can. <laughs> I can squeeze through the gap. Nothing can stop me. My name is Link, and I climb. I climb all the way to the heavens, and nothing can stop me. Oh, it's hell. Joy. For some reason, just seeing a little outpost like place over there intrigues me. I might have to go check that out, which means killing you. Once I'm certain of me getting up yet, yep. Although I wonder, would a nice one do you in? Oh, that's an instant kill! <laughs> and what was it that one kid back in the uh, Hatino village wanted again? Oh yeah, a moblin club, so I don't need to care about you. He wanted a fire diddly D earlier. But nice to know elemental, like, weaknesses are at play here. That I can just nuke them from existence. Oh, I thought this would be a more interesting place. Although it is kind of cool to see a... Like, launching point. Hey there. Dog. Yes. Goodbye. Unto hell you are. And then the wolves. Well, I guess coyotes. <laughs> you dare try to come for me? Die. Alright, it's getting kind of... Well, we'll go this way because that's easier to climb, lead up. Which means, uh... Prepare to be one shot. I'm so happy I discovered that. It makes things so much easier. Well, you don't have arrows, so I'll just leave you alone. Do da da do, do da do, do da da do. We have to do this slow to make it up there. I just realized I never made any replacements for my stamina skewers. There's a swift violet. I'm fairly sure. Taunting me. Off the side of this cliff. Dabbity dee da. Jabbity doo. Dabbity dee da 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 dee da
Wouldn't it have been tragic if I let go and then just fell all the way to my death? So we're closer now. We need to find a good place that we can get our stamina back midway. Uh, this might be the best option. One could say that if I went the proper way, we wouldn't be having this issue. <laughs> the ultimate way of getting stamina back slowly. Infinite stamina in specific places. Uh, come on, Link, you're part goat. You can get your stamina back in right places if you run up the wall correctly. And if I fall and die, Mifa has my back. Through the power of dead girlfriend. Link can live forever. At least until, like, the next game, I guess. Oh, bleh, pff, fuck. I need to... Uh, Blood Moon is part of a quest. Ah. I'll have to wait for the next one. Because over here, this is like, ah, if you're here on a Blood Moon... You can activate the shrine, and that's part of Cass's quest, but... Uh, I can't sacrifice this. I'll have to do it the next Blood Moon. Unless I can get there in time to activate it. But I highly doubt it. Maybe I might be able to. I have, like, one in-game hour to get there. But I don't think I'm gonna make it. Don't think that I will. It's right over here. It's so near and so far. Leave me alone, you satanic bastard. Depending on what's there guarding this, I might be able to make it. And I ran out of stamina. Like, I might be able to. I don't think I am. I hate you, stall folk. Go away. Yep, we're not making it. Almost. If it was just a little bit differently in time to cut... Oh, that was close. Go ahead and skip that. And I'll just have to be on the lookout for Blood Moon for the cast quest next time. Here, get my stamina back. Didn't get it all back because I'm impatient. Make our way up. It's just like I was so close, it was there. The opportunity stolen from me. Ganon is mocking me. He knows. He knows my desires of doing Cass's quest this time because I've never done it before in all the times that I've, like, started playing this game. Chica Tower activated. Ta -da. I already see a shrine down there. 
Now give me map power. Knowledge is half the battle. Losing is the other half. And this also means that at the start of next stream, we can begin by going up into those super cold mountains and finishing off the map. Mark you with treasure chest. And now I'll just fly down into the closer area like, find one sa warm Safarina and free myself of this burden. Oh, there's also another one there, because I think that's also a stable. So we can mark that, go to the stable, pray for warm Safarina. Also, Jesus, that's a lot of spark chews. Mm -hmm. Like, man, must suck to be all these people. You're just surrounded on all sides by monsters. Just looking for any plants, but there doesn't seem to be many plants that I'm looking for. Meanwhile, just epic adventure music is playing behind me as I just fly away without a care. I have, like, all of them on my back, I guess. It's Cass! My boy! Oh, good to see you again. I trust you're keeping well. You've come quite some distance. Even I, blessed with the gift of flight, struggled a bit to make it here. My teacher was the court poet in the employ of the Hyrulean royal family. One hundred years ago, he came face to face with the calamity Hyrule Castle and was forced to flee. <sighs> It was a perilous journey, very different from my own travels, I imagine. Danger was his constant companion. Anyway, I should return to my task. Again, thank you for the offer, my boy, but uh -huh. I already know it. You sang it to me once, which I do appreciate. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world. I shall show you the designated Gerudo Valley picture of my album. And you'll be like, ah, that is the oasis. Oh, isn't this Karakara Bazaar? It's an oasis just outside Gerudo Town. If you head southwest from here, you can't miss it. It's what I figured, my good man. It's a great place, just brimming with exotic atmosphere. It's certainly worth uh, visiting at least once in your life. I'm going to guess, hmm. Because there's the southern oasis, but I don't think that's it. More than likely, it's that. Do well, I know there's a bunch of quests here. That is for later. What the hell? Someone lost their flint. Somebody died out here. And I shall go into the desert slightly, just looking for one warm safrina. And there's just hydromillons here. Interesting. Let's see. Just do a little bit of shield surfing. Like, more than likely there should be... Oh, there's just electro shoes in here. I guess that Lizalfos is just, like, having conversation with the spark chew. Oh, hey! Treasure chest. Treasure chest. We must free it from the sand dunes. Mine.
Hello there, Gerudo. You're not gonna murder me, are you? Because I'm not trying to get into your home. Saba Saba. <laughs> Saba Saba. Mm? If you're searching for Kalissa, legendary treasure hunter, then your search is over. You're looking at her. I've mm. been in the game for over 20 years. When I set my sights on a treasure, you can be sure that I'll claim it. Good for you. Hope it goes well. Ah, the, the activation warning of the giant electro camel. Makes sense. I wonder which is worse. Having a giant bird just float around your home, not bothering you unless you get too close, or a giant camel stamping out in the middle of the desert. With also a creepy grin. It is a very ominous sight. And now we shall talk to you. And hopefully you won't tell us to fuck off. Sava Sava. Sava Sava. This is Kara Kara Bazaar. Gerudo Town is still a fair distance southwest of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are a Vo, even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town? Oh. Gerudo Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. I think it's the only town in the area. It's famous for trade and also staying active and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding Vo, males, from entering the city. I wonder mm -hmm. why. You don't know about Divine Beast Va Naboris? Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it, either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. Though it hasn't yet, it could easily head toward Gerudo Town or this oasis. I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need any thanks. This is my job, after all. You know, the desert is hot during the day and cold at night. It'll take the energy out of you in no time. If you plan to head out in the desert, make sure you're prepared. Well, I'm half prepared. I just need to... I would assume... Huh. Idiot lizard allowed me to catch it. Just searching about. Searching about. Oh, hey. <coughs> Hello there. And Beetle's here, too. He's a teleporter like me. Hmm? Ugh. Looks like I fell asleep. Good morning, though. It's Zavata and Gerudo, isn't it? But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. I've been there. Oh. Ah, it must have been felt quite cold to you, didn't it? I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try and earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any farther. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't get inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects of cooling effects and monster parts. Uh. They don't seem to be selling elixir anywhere. I've heard insects of these cooling effects live in the cold parts of Gruda Highlands, but... Mm. Well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. Ah. And... <laughs> and a Goron. Uh. Oh. Uh, what's the deal with this cold? How does it get this cold in the desert? I hate the nighttime here. Yeah, but it doesn't look like there's any warm safrina here. But I guess we can just quickly cook up a cold elixir for that guy. Hey. And then we'll probably... Oh, well, that, I thought that was a cookable. But that's a cookable. It works for me. So let's see. Doesn't need something amazing, just something to work. <laughs> A 
Here you go, my fair man. Here's an elixir. Ah, uh, thank you. I can get across the desert while it's still light out. Here, let me give you something in return. Thank you very much. Oh. By the way, in Gerudo, thank you is Soxo. Soxo! No problem, my dude. Beetle just leaving a scimitar behind him. I guess I can climb and... Well, I guess... Ah, well, there's a ladder. Could use a ladder rather than just climbing. And I'll try to... I'm surprised there wasn't a diddly D here. More than likely, I'm trying to think of where a warm Sephirina would be, but that's for later, I suppose. We've been going for about four hours. We only have one more place to go, for uh, or one more tower to do. Next time, we'll get warm Sephirina, upgrade our Rito gear. Then we'll probably do the Rito quests. And we'll just feel things out from there. Once again, just really having a fun time with this game. It's just a very fun time. Breath of the Wild is very, very enjoyable. But that shall be it for me. We found the Rito, which is brilliant mark for me. Or like milestone. And I will take that. But thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neon icy wings, or direct links in any description, bio, or link place of the various sites, has links to everything that I do. Like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel, or streaming Twitch, whichever you prefer. With all these streams being uploaded to that streaming YouTube channel for quality purposes. And then if you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little character in the corner, you can find me uploading art to various sites and social medias, or even uploading stories that I like to write to various sites. And finally, my Patreon, which is basically a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind, is also linked there. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly... Be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye, bye.